Good afternoon everybody and welcome to the stream. I'm Robert from the El Magnifico Games channel and today we're going to begin a playthrough of Techno Babylon. Now Techno Babylon is the third out of three uh, dark sci-fi games produced by Wadgetai Games which I had intended to play back to back. Um, we've already done Primordia and uh, Shardlight. Shardlight we finished last stream. Uh, and actually another game that is also a dark sci-fi game by Wadget Eye Games is Gemini Rue, which I did way back. Um, Techno Babylon reviewed very well, so I'm looking forward to it. It seems to have a bit of a Matrixy vibe, uh, which should be interesting. Beyond that, I don't know much about the game. As usual, I've played about the first five minutes of the game when I was just testing things when I was setting up. Making sure the game actually ran, that it captured on OBS, that the volume was at an appropriate level, that sort of thing. Um, but aside from that, I'm going in blind. So, let's get into it. You're sure this is the one? I'm positive. Not the sesame. Goes by Mandala in the trance. There's a big gap in the records, and it's shaped exactly like her. I thought you said he put a lot of effort into it. They've been hiding her activity, but weren't covering up their own work very well. If they did, then I... Ah! How are the headaches? Won't be a problem for much longer. You understand the plan? Don't I know exactly what I'm doing. Interesting graffiti. After all, I've been planning this for years. So, no idea who he is or what he's up to. Prisoner of Consciousness. There's nothing like being in trance. A world built of abstracts and intellect, of tangible thought, where every part has been crafted by an individual soul. It's the purest form of contact a person can have, mind to mind. It's the pinnacle of human achievement. But can they Some still be dishonest? The achievement in the physical world is somehow more meaningful. To them I say, join the future or be surpassed by it. Within the trance, we are millions of minds as one. But even as far as we've come, there's still one serious flaw. It's reliance on the real world as its backbone. And disconnections. Damn. Don't panic. I'll just go and speak to the building manager. It's not like there's anything to be afraid of out there. Ooh, foreshadowing. It's over with. Uh, open inventory. Move mouse to the bottom right corner. And I notice they've put two strokes before each of those remarks, which is one of the ways that you might leave a comment in some programming languages, if I recall correctly. Yes, it would be. That's a C-like comment, isn't it? Uh, select trance to disconnect. Uh, let's see what else we can do before we do that. So, mailbox. Ooh. Uh, we don't actually know who the main character is, although since it says, Dear Miss Sesame, I'm guessing we are this uh, Lartha Sesame that uh, was uh, referred to in the opening cutscene, and that that man probably, probably doesn't have our best interests at heart. From City of Newton, received 10th of July, 20. 89, sorry, 87, 20, 2087, right, that's worth writing down, so it's the 10th, well, it may not be today, but we know that the 10th of July, 2087, is presumably now or in the past, dear Miss Sesame, 
This message is to remind you that you have not been attending your scheduled employment meetings. If you do not inform us of absences, you risk losing housing support from the city. You have been receiving city support benefit for 711 days, and we hope that you will be able to improve your circumstances soon. Right, so she's... She's not in employment, educational training then. I would conclude. Uh, just adding that to my notes. Right. Uh, subject circumstances. Dot dot dot. Uh, from Baron M. O'Shea. Lieutenant Colonel O'Shea. That's interesting. So this person is both a Baron and a Lieutenant, it would seem. Oh, and this seems to be going backwards in date. A proposal. Dear Sir Miss, my name is Marcus O'Shea. I am the Chief Financier for the Oklahoma... Okay, we are in America. Then why would he be a Baron? I was thinking that's proof that we're, you know, probably within the Commonwealth. Actually, no, I don't... There probably are still barons in Europe, so in the Commonwealth or Europe. But no. I'm the Chief Financier for the Oklahoma General Martin Carter. Oh, the Oklahoma General Martin Carter. His recent death at the hands of a rival warlord has left me with 150,000 uh, quanta of his finance. If you'll allow me to transfer through your bank accounts, I can offer to share. Okay, so that's presumably spam. Yeah, in which case we can't even rely on her address being in America then. Um, from Root T received the 9th. Let's meet up with a capital E. Uh, in fact, a capital M as well, but not a capital U, so it's not title case. And it's not normal case either. Hey, Dala. Okay, so they probably do know her then. Um, because we know that on in trance, she goes by the name Mandala. Seems like we haven't seen you in years. No idea if you heard, but there's a big game coming up at Rotunda. If we're up for leaving your apartment, we can probably get you a place on the team. XOXO. T. Interesting. Right. So, this is Root T.I. I'd better start a list of people, hadn't I? So this is someone that knows her online name, but also knows uh, her in real life, it would seem. Don't know what Rotunda is. Presumably a place. Right. Big game of what? Uh, from X's Farmer. Received on the 9th. Amazing deals on chem. Do you want the extra interface speeds? Without the extra cost? Extra speed with extra farm. Open attached image for order info. Compose new message. Refresh inbox. Interesting. Attachment. I'm not going to open that since I don't know what the security 
is like in this system, given that uh, this seems to be some sort of internet which interfaces with one's brain. I'm not sure I want to open a unknown attachment without, um, certainly not from a a, uh, a third party whom I don't know, um, without some assurances. Toxic Sigma. Grow guide. Yo, Dala. Good hearing from you. Though no. Really, it means you want something. Basically, yes. The batch of blue wetware you got is cracked. So you can grow it yourself. Just don't grey goo your place. It needs a few things. Water, since that's what makes up 99% of it. Nutrition, it's an organism after all. Heat. In the normal stuff, it'd cause it to break down, but this blend is activated instead. Interesting. Blue wetware, you say? And it's cracked. Water, nutrition, heat. Uh, toxic Sigma. Right, that's someone that might come up again. I'm not particularly interested in that. X is farm, uh, farmer. Since I assume they're just some... Spammer. Huh. Uh, refresh inbox? Error. Unable to connect to Mandala mail host colon inbox. Sorry, Mandala stroke mail host colon inbox. Check connections and try again. If problems persist, contact an engineer for hardware errors or a medical professional for wetware system support. That's interesting. Engineer Hardware Errors Medical Professional Don't say a doctor, just says a medical professional. What where system support? I'm guessing composing um, messages also won't work. Yep, for the exact same reason. Huh. Well, that was interesting. And the only attachment there is is that very sketchy one. Alright, news. No connection found. Unable to access to shiki server please check your network and try again if problem persi persists contact your network administrator huh news chishiki server error 125h noted does that mean that it's not able to load... Does that mean it's got nothing cached at all? Oh, we know. We know the date. It is July the... 10th, 2087. And in fact, it's a Thursday. Assuming that's accurate, because of course it's not loading the page, I assume it's grabbing that from the system. TTLP, interesting. Hub, Newton, Chishiki, sports at TTLP. Hub, stroke Newton, stroke Chishiki, stroke weather dot TTT, TTLP, not found. Right. One more thing. Newton support, city of Newton. So we're in the city of Newton. It would seem.
Still don't know for sure what part of the world we're in, though. Right. All right, let's uh, disconnect. Actually, let's have our first save. Uh, and disconnect. Better go and talk to the building manager. Ah! Ouch! Huh? Password error? Huh? I guess the door's broken too. Contact manager. I'm trapped? What I get the feeling this is something to do with the man, the blonde haired man we saw in the opening cutscene. Although, uh, Miss Sesame wouldn't know that at this point. For the first time that you can remember, the prospect of staying inside your apartment is frightening to you. Left-click interact, right-click look at. This seems to be the same engine as the previous two games. Cables. Ugh, exposed fiber optics everywhere. I think they deliberately do this to make it less pleasant to live here. The large drain in the floor means that cleaning the room can involve as little as hosing everything down. Cheap is the way it's done in here. That implies that everything is waterproof, though. The Net Games trophy I won in 84. I don't know why I've still got it. I pretty much scrapped everything else to build the wetware still. Net Games. Did you say 84? The Net Games trophy I won in 84. I don't know why I've still got it. I pretty much scrapped everything else to build the wetware still. So that was about eight years ago. And what is an, a wetware still? Picked up trophy. I'm not sure when I got this out of the machine. It's still soggy though. What is it? It says food. Mm, nah, I'm not that hungry. Recycler, window. Even if I could see out, it's not a nice view. Hundreds of other Skanto apartments in the barrel. The darkness is supposed to encourage people to move out. Not me. Just makes trancing easier. Did you say Skonto Apartments? Even if I could see out, it's not a nice view. Hundreds of other Skonto Apartments in the barrel. The darkness is supposed to encourage people to move out. Not me. Just makes trancing easier. Skonto Apartments in the barrel, was it? Even if I could see out, it's yes. not a nice view. Hundreds of other Skonto Apartments in the barrel. The darkness is supposed to encourage people to move out. Not me. Just makes trancing easier. Right, so there's been a lot of references to trying to make these apartments unpleasant to live in and we also know she's on the Newton City's benefit system and she's not in employment so far as we can tell so presumably this is the the facilities they provide to people that aren't able to afford other accommodation the shower curtain glows an eerie yet somehow soothing blue your project must have finished its final stages. Is this the wetware still? Wetware still. It may take up the entire bathroom, but the still is totally worth it. By growing my own wetware at home, I'll never need to leave the apartment again, unless something like this happens. What is it, food? You remove the gelatinous clump of semi-organic wetware you've been cultivating in the still. It looks like it's grown enough to be usable by now. What is it? It's a homegrown lump of techno-organic wetware gel. It's for connecting my brain's wetware to the external systems. Right, okay. So we have wetware still. Um, produces wetware used 
to connect her brain's wetware Well, she says she'll never have to leave again, but what's she using for food? What's she using for water? And... Um... I suppose that about covers it, doesn't it? If she has somewhere to eat, drink... Somewhere to uh, dispose of waste products and somewhere to sleep. Perhaps she wouldn't need to go anywhere? Hmm. But she wants to leave now because she's lost connection to the trance or um, whatever it is they call it. It's full of blue overalls, the kind provided by the city to the unemployed, made out of a cotton paper blend. Cotton paper? They are mulched and recycled into new clothing rather than cleaned. Ugh, no. Last time I reached into the pile, there was stuff growing in it. Well, why haven't you thrown it into the recycler? Which is right there. Oh, there's the food machine. The apartment's food machine, which pipes your infrequent meals straight into your home in... Semi-solid form. Uh, your machine's been broken for a while, but you haven't noticed. You've been too busy trancing. So does that not mean you're going to be horribly malnourished? Hmm. Select protein surprise E168 nutrient complex sucro gelatin complex uh, utensil recycling 3D print full plastic. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a choice there. Uh, 3D print material. Metal. Error. User safety settings enabled. Unable to reduce metal utensils due to danger of harm. Please consult your Automeals AI for further information. Thank you for your cooperation. T-H-E Foods. Your future on a plate. Huh. T-H-E Foods. Alrighty. I wonder what she meant by her brain's wetware. That she had something installed in her brain. Presumably, if she's able to connect to the internet hey, directly. Hey, children. How's the suicide rate? Oh, well, that's pretty macabre. Uh, eject memory cartridge. Picked up memory module. A physical memory module containing the recipes that the food machine uses to make its mulch marginally less depressing. Okay. A food tray obligingly pops from the machine's Serving slot completely empty. The pipes must be blocked again. Hey, I'm hungry. All right, we'll take. Oh, it won't come out. It must be locked in place. Oh, I have to memory eject. That was it. <sighs> All righty. Uh, what else is there to do? There's these lockers, isn't there? One of the lockers where I keep a few things I've got in meat space. You've got a meat space. Okay. Meat space. The real world. I think something she may have been overlooking here is that or while it may be very fulfilling to be in the trance, Fundamentally, her physical body needs to be looked after. Nothing in here. Okay, Doug. Next one. I usually keep clothes in here. Looks like I need to go to the support office to get more printed. 
Okay. Oh, I should have been writing a to-do list, shouldn't I? So. Contact. Manager. About. Trans. Connection. And door. What did you say you have to go? One of the lockers where I keep a few things I've got. I usually keep clothes in here. Support it office. Looks like I need to go to the support office to get more printed. Uh, go to support office to print clothes. Uh, what do they call it? A food machine. Fix food machine. All right, these all seem like worthy goals. Uh, reaching your arm into the recycling slot can only end in tears. Well, I wasn't suggesting you do that. The gaping black chute dominating the food machine's top half is where used trays and cutlery are deposited for recycling. The materials are melted down and vacuum formed into new utensils every time you order a meal. That seems inefficient. Some places use metal utensils, but down here in the poor blocks, it's all just plastic. Poor blocks. I wonder if that's a, another name for the barrel. Nothing in here. Right, nothing in the lockers then. Interesting that the lockers are in here at all then. I wonder if... and, and are interactable, not just scenery. That makes me wonder if we are actually going to come back here at some point and use this as a base. Because of course I don't know what that man intends. Maybe he only has the best of intentions for us. We can only hope. Tenancy rules. City housing support. This housing is provided as is by the City Department of Social Welfare. Until such time as you are able to secure employment, basic facilities are provided within. Since your stay is temporary, please do not damage. Temporary? Huh. I've been here for two years now. Yeah, you have, haven't you? Almost. Not quite. This month or at the start of next month? I think the start of next month it will be two years. The vent cover above the door. It lets the air in and keeps the vermin out. Interesting. How does it keep vermin out? I can't get a grip to open it. Not like I could fit through there anyway. Uh... I don't know. I mean... Not to, um... Not to put too fine a point on it, but... She seems of quite the slender build, I s and that seems like quite the large vent. I'm not convinced she couldn't get through that if she had to. Right, I guess we're going through the grate. Guess I'm not as strong as I thought. I'm not getting out this way. Okay, window. The window frame is welded in. Even if I could open it, it'd be a 150 meter drop to the bottom. That's suboptimal. Uh, I'm a bit of a loss to figure out how you're getting out of here then, to be honest. If the grate's not an option, the window's not an option, and the door's not an option. The panel by the door also controls the apartment's net connection, call system, and thermostat, as well as the door's locking. If you could get inside it, you might be able to set off an emergency unlock. Well then, that's what we'll try. You have a plastic fork. I wish you the best of luck. It broke. Uh, the, flimsy pla the flimsy plastic that the fork was made of wasn't up to the task of prizing the panel from the wall. With better quality tools, though. Hmm. I guess I could collect some more, um... Another plastic fork, just in case. I'm just thinking to save us having to come back here if it turns out it was actually useful. 
do have a metal trophy. I could probably make a metal fork if I could... Um, change the printing material. Uh, user safety settings enabled. Hey, we're not children! Lousy suicide rate. Hey, Pengy. Thank you for the resubscribe. I do appreciate it. How are you today? Hey, we're not children! Lousy suicide rate. <sighs> I think that's probably the best plan. Although, honestly... What sort of state do you have to, um... Do you have to find yourself in where your best possible course of action is to stick a metal fork into a door panel to try and force an emergency unlock? I'm doing quite well, thank you. Looking forward to the rest of the weekend? Uh, so, uh, the short version of what's going on in this game, this seems to be a Matrix-y type uh, world that we're in. Or at least, no, that's that's the wrong way to put it. There's a Matrix-y vibe to it in that there's the trance, which seems to be some sort of you plug your brain into the internet and you're in a virtual world. And there seems to be uh, what the main character so eloquently described as meat space which is the real world which is where we are now and the character had been in um, trance uh, when suddenly her connection failed she decided she was going to um, wake herself up and then speak to the manager walks over and the doors locked and she doesn't understand why uh, she tries to use the door panel to get a direct connection to the manager because apparently there's an intercom as well and that doesn't work. Um, and so currently, we've just started the game and we're just trying to figure out how do we get out of this room. Uh, I tried using a plastic fork on the door panel to prise it open and the plastic fork broke. Uh, there seems to be a food machine and recycler here which seem to be like a, a two-in-one machine. And we've got a metal trophy that she earned a number of years ago. The Net Games trophy I won in 84. I don't know why I've still got it. I pretty much scrapped everything else to build the wetware still. Oh, that's the wetware still. I don't... I haven't 100% figured out what's going on there, but what I know is that a wetware still uh, takes water, nutrients, and heat, and it produces wetware. It's a homegrown lump of techno-organic wetware gel. It's for connecting my brain's wetware to the external systems. And there you go. And she said that now that she has her own wetware still, which is cracked, uh, she'll never have to leave her room unless something like this happens. So it seems to be some sort of substance which is required in connecting people up to trance. Um, anywho, what I was saying is we've got this trophy. I'm thinking we could put the trophy into the recycler and try and produce some metal utensils and then prise the door panel off with that. That's my best idea. Since we've established the, the window and the great aren't ways we can get out. Um, but yeah, so that's where we are. Sounds like an interesting story. It's the first, is this the first stream you played it? Yep. Last stream, I finished playing Shardlight. Uh, so yeah, this is my first stream I've only with this game. I've only been playing it for the last... What was it? 35 minutes or so. Mostly just gathering information. Like, when we started the game, we were in a trance. Or in trance. I'm still not quite sure how they use the verb. It seems like they talk about... It seems like they treat it as though it's... Um, it doesn't take an article, which is a bit strange. Anyway, um, we were in trance, and uh, I was reading through the emails that she'd received, for example. Although they didn't call them emails, they called them t mails or something. Um, putting together what I can about the character. Apparently, the character's on some sort of. Um, 
welfare support from the city's welfare department. This is Newton City. Um, notionally, it's supposed to be support they give to uh, people who are too poor to afford accommodation and don't have employment until they can find employment. So it's supposed to be very temporary, hence this notice. Tenancy rules. City housing support. This housing is provided as is by the City Department of Social Welfare until such time as you are able to secure employment. Basic facilities are provided within. Since your stay is temporary, please do not damage. Temporary? Huh. I've been here for two years now. Yep, she's been here for almost two years. And it sounds like that's by choice, that she doesn't actually want to find employment. She's quite happy to just spend the rest of her life in trance. Aside from the absolutely essential functions of uh, eating and sleeping and what have you. Although it sounds like she's been skipping a lot of meals. The large drain in the floor means that cleaning the room can involve as little as hosing everything down. Cheap is the way it's done here. Even if I could see out, it's not a nice view. Hundreds of other Skanto apartments in the barrel. The darkness is supposed to encourage people to move out. Not me. Just makes trancing easier. Anywho, like I say, that's where we are. The only thing I'm wondering is how would I... Since we apparently can't set this machine to 3D print metal because of the... as she, um... As she, uh, explained, apparently... In the poor areas, they don't allow printing of metal utensils because of the suicide rate, apparently, which is pretty dark. Um... I'm thinking, how can I override that? If I can find a way to force this thing to print metal, um, then I might be able to get a metal utensil I can use to prise open the door. Otherwise, I've got no ideas about how I'm getting out of here. Hey, we're not children. How's the suicide rate? Yeah, it's just to read this in full, error. User safety settings enabled. Unable to produce metal utensils due to danger of harm. Please consult your Automail's AI for further information. Uh, thank you for your cooperation. THE food, your future on a plate. I notice it says the Automail's AI for further information. Not to change the settings, just for more information. Hey, we're not- How's the suicide rate? Um, yeah. The still is empty. It'll take at least a few hours to grow another batch of webware. Hmm, an AI. Can that be tricked, maybe? I don't know how to communicate with the AI. They say speak to your a the your um, automail AI for more information, but I don't appear to have a way to communicate with it in this apartment, so far as I can tell. I'm not sure when I got this out of the machine. It's still soggy, though. Still not working. Apparently I can't just wait for the problem to fix itself. Can't rely on anyone else. The panel by the door also controls the apartment's net connection, call system, and thermostat, as well as the door's locking. If you could get inside it, you might be able to set off an emergency unlock. I mean, I suppose I could try bashing it in with the trophy, but that doesn't seem like that'll work. The trophy won't help you get inside the panel. Yeah, I expected as much. How can she... Okay, I can trance at any time, can I? This is her in um, in in a trance, or in trance. Uh, as you can see, she has a mailbox, T-mail. Um, but she can't refresh anything. Error, unable to connect to Mandala stroke mail host colon inbox. Check connections and try again. If problems persist, contact an engineer for hardware errors or a medical professional for wetware system support. Um, Mandala appears to be her online name. As you can see, her appearance has changed a little too. Wait, I still have the memory block with me. Ah, maybe this is the key. I was thinking... 
since there's this like memory block, like a memory stick that I put into the um, food printing machine, uh, and it has the different meals pre-programmed in, I wonder if I could hack it to get it to to override the not being able to print metal things. Uh, but I wasn't sure how to do that. But this item has stayed has stayed with me between the real world and trance. So maybe this is how I reprogram things. A physical memory module containing the recipes that the food machine uses to make its mulch marginally less depressing. Oh, I don't seem to be able to do anything with it though. No, that's a shame. It's not compatible with it. Hmm. And here we are back in meat space, as she puts it. Ugh, exposed fiber optics everywhere. I think they deliberately do this to make it less pleasant to live here. Could you take some of the fiber optic optics and in some way use that to hack into the memory block? If I keep randomly cutting cables, I'm going to end up electrocuted eventually. So you've done this before then? The solution surely has to be getting the machine to print metal cutlery. I just cannot think how I'd do that. And why was the memory block with me in the trance if I can't do anything with it? I could try these different meals actually, I've only printed the protein surprise so far. Insufficient material. All of your our utensils are 100% recycled. Please return your tray or add other compatible materials to the machine to enable it to print a new batch. Mmm. Is that going to let me override the not having plastic, though? Because that would seem a pretty... A pretty, um... pretty big oversight if you could if the machine won't print in metal unless you put metal in in which case it will the machine thinks for a moment then displays a message error user safety settings enabled unable to produce metal utensils due to danger of harm to change this please seek administration administrator permission okay that's new thank you for cooperation uh, THE Foods, your future hey, on a plate. we're not children! Lousy suicide rate. This has got to be the solution, surely. It's just how do I actually do it? I take it it makes no difference if I take the memory module out. Since that's just got recipes on it. Hey, yeah. Hmm. And she can't lift the grate, can she? <laughs> Guess I'm not as strong as I thought. I'm not getting out this way. The fact that I can remove the memory block really, really 
makes me think that I'm supposed to be able to do something with it. Why else would they let me remove a memory block which has recipes on it? I just can't figure out how I would actually do anything with it. Wait, can I combine it with wetware? No. If I wanted to hack something, how would I do it? Oh, no worries, Jenny. I hope you have a good shift. Can I drop it in the world? Is there definitely nothing in the world that it can interact with? Strange. Can I plug it into anything? No. Oh, the date is Thursday the 10th of July, 2087. The window frame is welded in. Even if I could open it, it'd be a 150 meter drop to the bottom. You call that a window, but it doesn't look very transparent. It could be for loading more recipes later in the game, but I don't know. Oh, sorry to hear that, Pengi. Can I use the memory block on the door panel, can I? No. And the plastic tray? No. The only thing I can think... Oh, by the way, the food machine's broken. It's not actually producing food. But it is producing utensils, which is interesting. I could check out the other meals it can produce. A food tray obligingly pops from the machine's serving slot. Completely empty. The pipes must be blocked again. Yes, on my... On my to-do list right now, I've got contact manager about trance connection and door. Go to support office to print clothes and fix food machine. Hey, I'm hungry. Oh yeah, you heard me right about printing clothes. It's full of blue overalls, the kind provided by the city to the employment to the unemployed, made out of a cotton paper blend. They are mulched and recycled into new clothes rather than cleaned. I usually keep clothes in here. Looks like I need to go to the support office to get more printed. Oh, it didn't give me a fork back that time. Hey, I'm hungry. I must be missing something here. It's not compatible. Is there something in the room I've missed? Like some sort of port or something? It's strange, I don't usually expect the start of a game to be this difficult. I feel like I'm missing something. It's not compatible. It's not comp uh, It isn't compatible with the wetware. You're unable to form a connection. 
Okay, so connecting things to wetware is a thing in this game, then. Error, no memory module present. That's not really an error, hey, though, is it? Is that error? No recipe data. Insert memory card. Is there any possibility that I've misjudged this and there's another way we're supposed to get out of here? I doubt it, because we've dismissed the window, the grate, and the vent, and the door so far. Unless we can um, prise open the door panel. And the developers bothered to put the door panel in the game. Like, I feel like they wouldn't have bothered to do that if that wasn't part of the solution. It's not compatible with. I've never been one to tidy things away, and it's not a habit I'm about to take up now. It's not compatible. It doesn't matter what tools you use. Your years of trancing have left you too weak to stand any chance of removing the shutters from the window. Oh my goodness. There is this random attachment. I didn't want to open it because I was pretty sure it contained a virus or something like that. Um, so this is an email we received from X's Farmer. Received 9th of July 2087, so that was uh, yesterday. Amazing deals on chem. Do you want the extra interface speed without the extra cost? Quite a few spelling errors there. Um, extra speed with extra farm. Open attached image for order now. Oh, sorry, for order info. Um, and you can see what the attachment looks like. I mean, it, it, doesn't it look like um, this is supposed to be some sort of um, executable hiding as an image? Um, like you used to see... Back in the day, when you um, got spam emails, I don't know, maybe they still do it. But I don't know what else we can interact with. So I'm tempted to risk it. Downloading package, speed boost image, stroke exec. Malware. Yeah, no, I'm not storing that in my brain. Not unless I want to wake up in some factory in China in 10 years. A bodily disguised virus package. Sorry, a badly disguised virus package designed to trick the gullible into opening it. It might steal info, force you into a botnet, or just wreak wreck systems for the hell of it. Normally you wouldn't even have come close to downloading it. Yeah, I'm tempted to reload. I only did that because I'm desperate. Oh, copied speed dot boost dot image stroke exec to, and I assume that said the memory block. And now the memory block's appearance has changed. Ah ha ha ha! That was part of the solution. Oh, nice. That might mess up the food machine. That's what I'm hoping. It will be the food machine that will be waking up in China in 10 years time. Yeah. I'd say that's a little messed up. I don't 
don't want you to reach your arm into the the recycling. Um, shoot. The machine shrinks for a moment, then displays a message. Error. Use the safety settings. Dumpy hey, dumpy dum. Interesting. So that hasn't quite worked. Maybe whatever it prints out will be more useful. Hey, I'm hungry. Nope. I also want a USB pen drive that changes colour depending on content. Does sound pretty useful. Hey, how's he? What am I missing then? I really thought that would do it. Short of just printing off the other recipes and seeing what they produce though, I don't have an idea. I wouldn't be particularly impressed if it turned out the solution to this puzzle was just try all the recipes. They all have just produced an empty tray. Hey, it still won't accept metal. Can I make it more virusy? Can I like, download it again and put it back onto the... Um, put it onto the... the memory block again and again? Better not download that package any more times than you need to. It might start learning to work together. Uh, who would start learning to work together? Obviously we can't refresh the inbox? No. This is hard. <laughs> this is really hard. Hey, how's he? Hey, how's he? Yeah, it doesn't matter how many times I try it. The fact that I've got this metal trophy here really makes me think I'm supposed to be putting metal into this machine. It seems unlikely, but I am really starting to wonder if this is a bug and that, like, I did things in a particular order that the game wasn't expecting or something. But the only way I could verify that... Actually, no, I suppose I could reload back to my first save and try the same things again. Better go. That's her trying to go through the door. Access error, password error. Password error? Huh? I guess the door's broken too. Contact manager. 
Error. Unable to connect. I'm trapped? For the first time that you can remember, the prospect of staying inside your apartment is frightening to you. Okay, so very quickly, let's just try and do what I just did before. Um, maybe I should quickly copy down these, what the recipes actually are, thinking about it. Um, since I may lose the ability to find out later. Protein, surprise. B... Oh no, that's E, not B. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to try the same thing and... Um, but this time do it... In as few steps as possible. In particular, the first time I printed off a recipe, I got a... Um, a plastic fork which I tried to use on the door and it broke and I never got the plastic fork back again every time I printed recipes after that I only ever got the tray and nothing else so there is if I tried this again um, before I did the initial printing it's possible it would print something in addition I'm thinking if I should get the game too and play along and see if I can find the solution or if I should check a walkthrough just to verify if you're missing something. Um, I mean, this was a very re well reviewed game. If you wanted to get it for yourself and play it, of course, um, I'm sure you'd have a jolly good time. Uh, but you don't have to look up a... Hold on, didn't I pick up loads of items before, which I don't have now? No, I can't. I've not loads. Right. Let's try this again. The trophy, that's what I'm missing. Hey, I'm and I just got a tray and a fork. Okay, so it's fair to say that this wasn't like a bug or anything. So we'll go back to my, my save from before. This is where we were before I restarted the game. I must be missing a step. I know I tried to combine the memory block and the what where before but that's before I put a virus on it oh this this I take it back this save is slightly before when I thought it was this was before I installed the virus on the memory block right let's put the virus on the memory block uh, now, can I make it interface with the wetware now? And if so, is there any point to that? No, it's not compatible. I take it, yeah, it doesn't care which order. Ugh, no. Last time I reached into the pile, there was stuff growing in it. That's her old cloves. What could I be missing? So I've got this memory block with a virus on it, but putting it in on its own doesn't do enough to force a recycler to accept metal. Uh, 
And it's not like selecting these options has an unexpected effect either. Hey, we're not What more could I do? I take it just clicking in odd places doesn't do it? Because I'm just thinking, if this thing's buggy right now, if it's malfunctioning, what might you expect to cause it to do strange things? And I suppose, you know, options might do something different to what you're expecting them to do, or clicking on areas might actually activate things you're not expecting. Go back into the trance. Is there something more I can do with it now? No. I'd need to produce something within this little world, wouldn't I? Like I did before with the virus. I don't know how I'd do that. I don't seem to have... I don't seem to have, like, a, an IDE for programming or anything like that. It's a pretty cool idea for a game, actually. What was the point in putting the virus on the memory block if it isn't enough to get the food machine to... Hey, how's he... ...to become cooperative? Tell you what, I'm going to set a time limit on this. If I haven't solved this in the next ten minutes, I will look it up. Because um, it's not fair on you if I spend the whole stream struggling on the very first puzzle. By then I'll have been on the first puzzle for more than an hour, so it's not like I won't have tried. The still is empty. It'll take at least a few hours to grow another batch of wetware. Oh. Okay, this doesn't make much real world sense, but maybe adventure game moon logic? Do I put the memory block into the recycler? You load the memory module into the machine. After a few moments it begins to glow, indicating a successful connection. And then I put the metal in. The machine shrinks for a moment, then displays a message. Nope. Has it just gone? It's just gone back in there, hasn't it? Oh, I thought I was onto something. That's definitely the recycler, isn't it? Yeah, because it's all just one machine. I just bought the game. Both adventure games. I like cyberpunk adventure games. Uh, which was the other game you got? Was it... The, the previous one I did, Shardlight. Oh, and apparently I can't speak. It is strange, isn't it? Like, the f you, <laughs> you don't expect to get this stuck on the first puzzle of a game. The first puzzle's usually, like... An easy puzzle to act as a tutorial, just to like gently introduce you to the world. I can't tell if I'm being absolutely foolish, or if this game really is just dead difficult. I like both cyberpunk and adventure games. Well, fingers crossed you enjoy this one. Does sound like it's up your alley, though. Right, I, I, I refuse to believe 
that the steps that I have taken so far weren't necessary. It would be so strange for the developers to put this in and it not to be... You know, like the, the glitching screen and for it not to be part of the solution. Hold on. What if I... Can I combine the metal and the plastic? I can't use it like that. Okay, no, I can't just like put them both in simultaneously. Plastic recycled. Hey, it's, it's not an order operations thing, like the developers never thought that you might um, put the trophy in without the plastic. Hey, a lousy suit. Can I put the wetware in there? Establishing connection! Oh my goodness! This is what I must have been missing. You feel a flow of new data as your wetware inveigles itself into the food machine systems. Does that mean if I go into a trance now, I'll have access to new functions? Yes! <laughs> Okay, that's what I was missing. I don't know, I just had no... I, it just never occurred to me that this lump of goo in my hand would actually allow me to... Um, gain access to systems. Okay. Well, I hope you're happy with the game you've just purchased, Pengi. Um, well, we know who this is. Do you know what? I'm going to ask anyway. Who are you? Who are you? And what are you doing in my food machine? Hi, I'm Sheppy. You're... We already had this bit. I'm the voice of your food machine. I'm here to help you make the most of your machine and all the delicious possibilities. And if there's trouble, I'm here to help you out. What can you make? What kind of things can you make? Using THB's patented and proven protein fiber synthesis reserve system, I'm able to whip up some of the tastiest treats you've ever had. Like? Just you wait. Before you know it, you'll be having the most cost-effective food you've ever tasted. You're dodging the question. My recipe books are always getting bigger. My best friends at THB always come up with great new ideas. Everything from Protein surprise to nutrient blood casserole. Ugh. Don't be like that. Give them a try. Okay. Why can't I put metal in the recycler? Why can't I put metal in the recycler? It might be dangerous. At the request of Newton Civic Housing Services. You've been limited to plastic utensils. But isn't plastic great? It's so easy to get clean. But what if I want something stronger, like steel? That heavy protein mash bends the fork sometimes. Sorry, uh -uh, no can do. I'm not just a chef. It's my job to keep you safe. Right, so I think I know how to solve this now. Could be wrong. Uh, but you know when I asked her what foods she could produce, and she was like, oh, well, the best foods. Yeah, but specifically what foods? Oh, really, really good cost-effective foods. You'll be amazed. Well, she was probably checking. I don't know this for a fact, but she was probably checking her memory slots to see what recipes were loaded. And when she saw that there weren't any, she tried to dodge the question. So if I put the infected um, memory block into the... Um, food dispenser and then I ask her to list off the recipes I'm thinking that may then cause the AI the chefy AI to inadvertently load the virus and then I might be able to print some metal utensils Ciao. Bye. Uh, let's leave the trance So, access the food machine, put the memory block in, well hey, 
Uh, enter the trance again. Oh, incidentally, uh, for those of you that weren't here when I very first started this stream, there was an opening cutscene in which a blonde man seemed to be looking for the protagonist, and it looked like he was up to something... Well... Suspicious. We don't really know who he is, who he works for, and what he wants with the protagonist, but it seemed shady. Uh, I mention this only because with her connection dropping and the door becoming locked, I have to wonder if, you know, someone's coming for her or something, and so we may... Possibly, if I get through this door, we may, um... Get to find out what that's about. Uh, I'm going to add Sheffy to my list of people. Sheffy. T H E Foods Guide. Or oh, I'll put A I. Artificial Intelligence. Uh. I don't much like your food. Okay, so I don't have the option of asking her to list what she can produce anymore. I've had to live off your crap for two years now. It's bland, and it feels like runny puke. I have trouble swallowing, and every mouthful makes starvation that little bit more appealing. I'm oh, sorry to hear that. Have you tried any of our new recipes recently? Let's look for some. <laughs> Getting closer. What's on your recipe card now? What's on your recipe card now? I see there's some new recipe data. It looks like... Apparently oh, whatever virus was writing that T-mail is doing some damage. You don't look so good. Sounds more like you need someone to put you out of your misery. So my choices are, I don't much like your food. What about the trays and forks? Why can't I put metal in the recycler? Uh, how do I shut you off? Will the machine work without you? You annoy me, you don't look good. Um... Probably start with how do I shut you off? No. Will the machine work without you? Will the machine work without you? Uh, what? That doesn't really answer my question. Okay. How do I shut you off? How would I stop you stopping me? I need a fork. Uh, yeah? How about I stop you stopping me stopping you? Then I guess I'd have to stop you stopping me stopping you stopping me? No, I don't know. You're safe. Hmm. Oh well, let's try it as it is. I was hoping with the um, the AI clearly being self-aware that it had been damaged, we might be able to persuade it to shut down entirely, and then hopefully the machine would go back to some sort of default settings, whereby we could, uh, which predated the ban on metal utensils, but uh, apparently that doesn't appear to be a thing. Okay, maybe that is a thing. Let's go back. <laughs> you don't look good. You don't look so good. I'm a ch 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 That's nice. What about your... I'm a 
Yes? Why can't I put metal in the recycler? Why can't I put metal in the recycler? Not while I'm a boss! <laughs> I can't think of a way around this other than trying every option. I don't much like your food. I don't like your food. I don't like your trays. <laughs> what about the trays and forks? How do I get trays and cutlery? Fork! Uh, yes? And the trays? Trays! <laughs> uh, why can't I put metal in the recycle? We tried that. How do I shut you off? We tried that. Wouldn't the machine work without you? We tried that. You annoy me. You're really, really annoying. You know that? What? Your mama! Hmm. Ciao. There must be another step that I'm missing. What's the other step gonna be? I could take the memory card out now. I suppose I could try loading the AI onto the memory card. Hey, you want this? Huh? Okay. That didn't seem to help. We'll try these all once more. Why can't I put metal in the recycler? Not while I'm a boss! <laughs> How do I shut you off? How would I stop you stopping me? I need a fork! Uh, yeah? How about I stop you stopping me stopping you? Then I guess I'd have to stop you stopping me stopping you stopping me? <laughs> You're a smart bitch. Will the machine work without you? Uh, what? That doesn't really answer my question. We've exhausted a lot of items, but not all of them. Is there like a specific order I'm supposed to be activating these or something? Really, really annoying. You know that? This takes one to no one. What? Your mama! You don't look so good. I'm a chick chick chick. That's nice. What about your. I'm a shim! Yes? I'm a shim! Oh, suddenly we have more options. I don't much like your food. What about the trays and forks? How do I shut you off? Will the machine work without you? You annoy me. You don't look so good. Hmm. I'm starting to wonder if there's a specific order I'm supposed to activate these in. Oh, but that would be a mad puzzle, surely. Just trying combinations till... Till you manage to hit the right one. No, I'm going to reject that as an idea for now. I don't believe the developers would want us to just try navigating the dialogue tree until we actually hit upon the magic um, combination. What else could I actually do though? Alright, so I feel like all the steps I've done so far were probably necessary. Um, the question is, if getting the virus loaded into the AI 
wasn't sufficient to allow us to put metal into the machine, what did it gain us? What can we do now that we couldn't do before? Let's start by just printing something and seeing what we get. Hey, I'm hungry. Just a plastic tray, okay. Hold on. What about What about if hey. I put the metal in when it's expecting plastic? Perhaps it won't be able to distinguish metal from plastic. Nope. I mean, it changed the dialogue options, but aside from this slim possibility that I'm supposed to activate the dialogue options in a specific order, it doesn't seem very likely that that... Hold on. I already found out that I can interface with the food machine. Can I interface with the door panel? Yes! Okay. The apartment's centralized systems speak to you more clearly than ever as your wetware joins with its systems. Alright, well, I presumably couldn't have loaded the recipes into the... Into the, um... The door panel directly, causing it to uh, take on the virus. That is having it read from the memory block. But perhaps now I've got both of these apps available in trance, I can um, somehow get them to talk to each other and transfer the virus that way. I was just about to say that I managed to do something more if you need a clue, but you just figured it out yourself. You need to go back to the kitchen. So I haven't tried anything more though. Oh, no worries. Very nice of you to... Uh, to uh, get the game and try and help me along there. Blimey. Who would summon the guardian of thine abode? Who are you? Who are you? I am the defender, the guardian, the knight. No threat shall dare intrude upon thy domain while I stand watch. Do you have a name? I do not wish to trouble my lady with such minute details. So, just knight then. Whatever thy will, my lady. What do you do? What's your function? I am the defender. I prevent intrusions upon thy fortress. The physical and the etheric. I found you in the door's terminal software. You're the apartment's network security, aren't you? Quite so. Trojans and malware flee from my presence. But you also control the door's security. A vital role, my lady. None shall threaten the sanctity of your domain. Who made you? Tell me about yourself. Sentinel Systems Nightwear, a data and physical security product of Sentinel Systems, version 3.02. Licensed to City of Newton Housing Services. Why are you a knight? What's with the knight in shining armor routine? Who is better suited to the role than a loyal defender of the realm? Okay, now tell me properly. My lady, thine own... Out of character! Following managerial reformation of Sentinel Systems, the company's theme was shifted to a feudal design. Hmm. Night. Uh, so, firewall and door security. So, it would seem. Sentinel systems. Noted. Can you let me out? The door seems to be stuck. Can you do anything about that? Attempting to operate door drive systems. Attempt two. Attempt three. It would appear the machinery of the door itself has become fatigued. The terminus is unable to compel activity on the door's part itself. The safety unlock would doubtless serve you well at this juncture. Can you use the safety unlock? I'm afraid I cannot. It must be unlatched physically. So where is it? 
It lies behind the terminal. With sufficient armament, mayhaps thou shalt reach it. Gee, thanks. <laughs> right, so he deals with malware. Sheffy's sick. I think Sheffy the chef's come down with something. The steward harbors a blight. Zounds! This shall not be allowed to continue. Here we go. Foul harbinger! There are grave accusations of treason upon your head, steward. Stand and face me. We shall see what trial by combat makes of you. I'm sorry, I am crazy. How about thee? This is an amazing game. Well, that takes care of her. Right, so hopefully the food dispensers reloaded some default settings prior to the banning of metal utensils. One can only hope. Yes! Shame we have to melt down our trophy, but still. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, does it matter? It does matter. No worries, Jenny. See you soon. After a few moments of mechanical protest, the machine eventually gives in. Metal tray and metal fork! Yes! I think that calls for a save. Oh my goodness me. I would say that that was really hard, but to be honest, it was the getting my head around how the wetware works that um, that really had me stuck for a long time. Once once I understood that, I um, it, it was it didn't take me that much longer to figure the whole thing out. Oh, blimey. Good thing we got out when we did. Oh, it's in binary, the chapter numbers. This is it. Animus Organics. You think Central's right on this one? I still don't think an AI, however powerful, could predict a crime like this. However, if it does help us catch the Mindjacker... Central hasn't exactly been generous with the details. I don't really think we're going to find anything here. There are other, stronger leads we ought to be chasing. Interesting. We're a different character now. This is 20 hours earlier. Yeah, I think it would have helped if, um, oh, a jolt gun and a traveller. I wonder what a traveller is. Um, I think it would have helped if there had just been a slight clue in the, that first room, that first area, that the wetware could be used to interact with other systems. I think if there had just been that little hint, that would have helped massively. Anyway, what does a traveller do? The Cell Issue Traveller, like the civilian models in many ways, capable of making calls and running apps, the specialised model carried by Cell possesses more powerful sensors and encryption. The Traveller's sonograph is picking up very little ambient activity in the building. So it's an evolution of a smartphone, is it? It's like a smartphone and a bunch of other useful tools, hardware tools built into one. An electroshock weapon with an output of between 2 and 8 million volts. This tool... That's quite a large margin of error. Uh, this tool uses an ultraviolet laser to ionise a channel of air, allowing electrical charge to pass from the device to its target. While intended as a compliance tool rather than a lethal weapon, care must be taken in its use to prevent accidental fatalities. So what was this place hey, called? anyone there? Doesn't look like anyone's around. 
So that's reception. There's the elevator controls. The elevator's locked. Panel says authorized personnel only. I guess we need to find someone who counts as authorized then. What oh dear. the hell? This man is the victim of a long drop, but from where and why? What'd you Picked find? up key card. A security card. This man was custodial staff, a janitor. Probably not our mindjacker's target then. Still, I don't think this was an accident. We need to find out what's going on here. Hmm, I wonder what a mind jacker is, someone that hijacks another individual's mind via trancing? It's unlocked floor 26 for us. Must be where its owner was working. Well, better than being at reception, I suppose. Also might take us to where the crime took place. Oh dear. Damn it all. Burns all around the planar nodes and his wetware wiring. Yeah, this is our mind jacking victim. Central was right. The attack was recent, maybe minutes ago. The mind jacker was probably interrupted by the janitor who ended up on the street. There's only one other way out of here, to the roof. We need to get up there before he escapes again. Okie doke. Uh, well, normally I would be searching everywhere, but um, if we're in a hurry. It was recent, maybe minutes ago. The mind jacker was probably interrupted by the janitor. Didn't want any witnesses. He probably didn't mean to send him out the window either. Well, you say that. This keypad must be to stop people getting up on the roof. It's old fashioned, but effective. Kind of like you. Hey. It takes a combination, not a card. Okay, so we need to know what the combination is. Uh, the desk's phone's projection shows unanswered messages. Perhaps a new combination. Arctus Dorset, Atwood Roy, uh, Clay's Manson, Yorona Diana, Diana? Uh, Gallant Pat, Matt Zolf, Philip News. Is that all of them? So far as I can tell, doesn't seem to want to scroll. Okay, I'll write this, this list out as well, in case it comes in useful later. Unanswered calls. Arctus Dorset. Oh, are these people that we can call, not the unanswered calls? Because I noticed at the bottom there it says call. I think that may be the case, in which case we probably don't want to do that right now. Not unless we knew who one of these individuals was and knew that they would know the door code. Even then they might not believe us that we're some sort of law enforcement. I assume we're law enforcement. I suppose I don't, strictly speaking, know that for a fact. Philip News. Interesting. What else have we got here? Lock terminal. The terminals are in standby mode, awaiting their user's return in the morning. Active terminal. This terminal is still unlocked, apparently in use at the time of the attack. Aha! Atwood, Roy, HR management. The roof. There's a time and a place for the trance, and it's not up on the roof. Yes, it's private, but it's also extremely dangerous. Therefore, management asked me to keep the roof access locked unless it's an emergency. FYI, trance cravings do not count as emergencies. Seriously, Avery. You're great at your job, but you need help. 
Uh, Avery wasn't on the call list, were they? Still. Um, that is a good indicator of who we should be calling. Roy. Atwood Roy. HR Management. And they're Animus, are they? The company. Animus. Customer Relations. Public Statements. The Management of Animus Organics. Animus Organics. Okay. Wait, people get cravings to trans. Not just they really enjoy it. They get cravings. That's interesting. Because, you know, you could imagine that, for example, people, you know, of an evening might like to watch some TV to unwind. But they don't get cravings for TV. This suggests that trancing may be addictive. And I, I don't just mean enjoyable addictive, I mean actually addictive. <sighs> the, the management of Animus Organics would like to remind colleagues not to make statements to the press regarding product safety. An investigation into recent high-profile exponential m m wetware growth or grey goo accidents is underway and will be released when completed. Publicity management. Right, so I believe grey goo has actually become a term in... What would you even call it? Like the sort of overlap between philosophy and science fiction uh, for a possible... Uh, disaster scenario where you like have some sort of nanobot that's programmed to make more of itself and so it just makes more of itself and more and more and more and before long the entire surface of a planet becomes grey goo and everyone's wiped out and I've no doubt that's why the game developers chose grey goo to describe this w exponential wetware growth they're, they're implying uh, something truly cataclysmic I'll make a note of it anyway. Right, what else have we got? Central. From Central. Subject exposure conditions to Avery Gerbach. Was Avery on the list? No, they weren't. Arctus, Atwood, no Avery. Oh, and Gallant, not Gerbach. Uh, please be aware that tomorrow's midday UV exposure index is expected to peak at 8. Your genetic background indicates a propensity to melanoma. Please take extra care in order to maintain long-term health. Making a note of that. Avery Gerbach. Genetic background... What a phrase. Implies propensity for melanoma. How do I spell that? Melanoma. Okay, in the very, <laughs> in the obvious way. Uh, Q U T B? Salmon. Congratulations. Hey man, just wanted to say, big grats on the engagement. She's a really swell girl and I know you guys are going to be so happy together. Catch you after work at the den, Sal. Right. Does it say who these are to? Refresh inbox, no new messages. Compose new message. Unable to connect to... M8264 stroke mail host colon global check connections and try again hmm I was just thinking do we know who the victim is because if they were logged into this terminal and we could determine uh, their name oh I wonder if they're Avery Gerbach That would make sense, wouldn't it? Because they received this email. 
That must be it. Okay. Uh, probably better add a couple more people to my list of known people then. So we've got Avery Gerback, Mind Jack a Victim. Uh, Q U T B Salmon. Friend. Of go back question mark right it was Atwood that was HR manager wasn't it let's have a uh, let's call them quickly and see if we can get the code for the door and let's hope they believe believe us when we tell them who we are I think I found the office managers contact see if he'll help us remember be consistent when you're talking to him uh, what who is this do you have any idea what time it is? Mr. Atwood, my name is Dr. Regis. I'm an investigator for sale. Uh, what? I mean, what's happened? Uh, investigator... for sale. Um... What do I say? The problem is I have no idea what this organization's procedures would be, but I think it's an emergency is probably not uh, not unreasonable. We're on the trail of a dangerous felon. He's killed dozens before, and without your help, he's going to escape. Oh God, what's happened? We need your access code. Two of your colleagues have been killed on site. We're tracking the murderer, and we're pretty sure he's fled to the roof. What? Uh, who? We need access to the roof as quickly as possible. What's the code for the access door in your office? It's... It... That's very harsh, but the game did give the hint about being consistent, and it seems like the first option is being nice, the middle option is being little tougher and the the third option is pressuring them hard and so although I think this is perhaps too harsh um because it's essentially just bullying based on the hint the game's given me I think this is the correct option do you want to wind up in jail too do you want cell agents bringing you in as well all this stalling I might think you're working with the killer no I just quickly what's the code it's 616 Seven. Thanks. Middle management got the door code at Animus. Right, better make a note of that. Six one six seven. Door code. I wonder if I could have failed that, or if that was an achievement that I was always going to get. Uh, better save quickly before we carry on. Right. Let's make our way up and hope the. Um, the mind jacker, assuming that that is who we encounter. Come on, we've almost caught up with him. Is still there. Ah, that's the blonde man from the beginning of the, the game. Mind jacker, freeze, cell agents. Where cell agents drop the weapon, you're under arrest. I mean, we've already told them we're cell agents, and they started firing at us. I feel like that's not an unreasonable response. You're under arrest on suspicion of illegal trafficking of neural data, breaking and entering, and homicide. Let's not forget, shooting at cell agents. Illegal trafficking of neural data. Why did they want to come after poor Miss Sesame, then? I can't use my, um... Oh, they've already got their weapons out. Their electro guns. Uh, there's no escape. I'll drop the weapon. Lay down your weapon and put your hands above your head. Does that ever work? Sometimes. It was worth a try. 
There's no escape. The only way off this rooftop is down, either with us or over the edge. Frankly, the second one's fine by me. What? Blimey. Quite the power move. What? He had lifting gear. He's escaping by aerostat. Central, our mindjacking suspect has fled the scene by air. Interceptors dispatched. Galcor officers have arrived on scene at Animus. Please return to headquarters for debriefing. Nuke it. We were so close. Ooh. Lab, I... Max. What? Huh? Were you sleeping on duty? Sleep? No, I was trancing. For work, of course. Dr. Lau was submitting her case report. We were so close. Have you found the Aerostat he escaped to? No records have been found of such a vehicle. What? Radar and air traffic records show no Aerostat present at that time. And no communications traffic has been identified regarding the Aerostat. Maybe he deleted them? Covered his tracks? That would require access to an improbable number of systems, including my own. Such an undetected intrusion into central systems is implausible. Are you saying we're lying? It is possible that you were mistaken. Human error. For the moment, you are advised to pursue other lines of inquiry. If you say so, something's going on here. That is strange. Right, we've got terminals, we've got LAO, we've got screens. The screens run through all of the available data pertaining to the Mindjacker. Uh, a number of cables run directly into the building's electrical and data flow systems from LAO's desk. Apparently her customised wetware gear sometimes requires tremendous resources, and she doesn't care how many of the building's technicians complain about her pulling floors open. Why does she need customised wetware gear, though? Lau is already settled in at her desk. Might as well let her handle the case report. Hey, Lau. Yeah? Mindjacker case. What do we do now? Mindjacker's victim. Looks like we found our latest casualty. Damn it. Why him, though? I was wondering the same thing. We're assuming the Mindjacker's a data thief. The usual MO would be to target valuable info he can sell on the black market. But this guy, he was an HR administrator. Apparently a very good one, but not the kind who'd be let in on company secrets. We'll just have to ask the Mindjacker when we catch him. Uh, Mindjacker case. I've lost count of the number of times the Mindjacker's struck. In Newton or globally? Oh, just a figure of speech. He's been on the rampage for too long, but now... He's in our territory. Should give us the advantage. In theory. Previous mindjackings. At least we've managed to link the previous mindjackings to one suspect. It's the MO. Historically, mindjackers have used some kind of external gear. They use another system to extract before storing it in their own neural tissue. So they'd need a terminal. Which is usually how we catch them. It's conspicuous. But are mindjackers not behaving the same way? No. His tools appear to be built into his own bodily wetware system. Some kind of resonance imager in his body, maybe. Whatever it is, it's less invasive as well. Exactly. His victims suffer massive hemorrhages, but no external injuries. State of the art, but a dead giveaway. Could he be a foreign agent? Could they actually be dealing with a enemy spy, which they're treating... It's just a common criminal, because of course they wouldn't know otherwise to initially. Oops. Hmm. Right, so special wetware gear. Killer has special wetware gear. Um, the Mindjacker. Do we have any ideas about our perp? 
The fact that he's stealing data straight from living neural wiring is disturbing, but it tells us a couple of important things. Oh? Well, previously caught mindjackers have usually burnt out after one or two attacks. Sharing a whole other's brain worth of data is pretty taxing. So we're looking for someone with a really specialized wetware set up in their heads. Pity that won't tell us what they look like. The other problem is how slippery this guy is. Only fragments of appearances on camera, no clear witnesses. Which means he's either a master of disguise. Or there's some pretty high up collusion to hide him. That wouldn't surprise me if he were a business hire. Still, after this many hits, he may start to slip. Even if it's just his psyche breaking. Central. You don't like that Central's predicted this, do you? It's not how investigations are supposed to be done. Admit it. You're afraid your job's going to be stolen by machines. Kind of like weavers, factory workers, authors. <laughs> just how old do you think I am? No, don't answer that. I just don't like having that key bit of information kept from me. You need to learn to work with Central. It's not our enemy. It works for us as we work for it. You assume. Oh dear, poor authors. Replaced by machines. What do we do now? Got any ideas where we can look next? I thought you were supposed to be the lead on this case. Hmm. We could look into that other lead. What was his name? Gil Vanderwall? Yeah, that's the one. Right, adding that to the list of people. Gil Vanderwall. Uh, investigation lead. Okie dokie. I thought Vanderwall made it pretty clear he wasn't going to speak to us. Might just be the way you handled him. Tact is apparently not your strong point. I like to speak my mind. I'll contact him and see if he's more open to persuasion. He might cooperate if you're not there threatening him with physical injury. He's a died in the wolf felon. He deserves worse. But if he can help us. All right. See what you can do. Let me know if you find anything. We'll do, Regis. I was half expecting her to immediately keel over as she goes back into a trance. Right, do I leave? Is that the next thing to do? I suppose so. One of Central's fisheye cameras. Someone has covered it in tape. <laughs> I'm surprised he got away with that. They would presumably immediately realise the camera had been covered and probably tell him as an employee that he can't do that. If something needs to be destroyed for, content for confidentiality reasons, this is where it goes. Anything in here is gone forever, after thorough scrutiny by Central, no doubt. Interesting. Uh, so we have Regis and Lau's office, Santiago and Preston's office. Though you tolerate Dr. Santiago's opinions, it looks like Dr. Preston's the only one in the office. You'd rather avoid another sermon on the merits of centralised government. Uh, the door leads to Cell's surgical lab. It seems to currently be occupied. Locked. Dr. Santiago must be working on something he doesn't want me seeing. Interesting. Uh, I guess I should... Um, write down those two names, thinking about it. So what was it? Dr. Santiago and Dr. Preston. Why are they both doctors? Oh, I suppose because they're doing the... Uh, perhaps they're into forensic? Forensics? That's interesting. Is that a thing? Are experts in forensics given the title doctor? Because usually you only get the title doctor of one, you're a medical doctor. Or two, you have a PhD. But I would have assumed that if you're going to work for law enforcement for forensics, you wouldn't usually go, go to the point of having a PhD. I mean, you could, but I imagine that's... Um, a much higher certificate of edu education than you'd normally need to go into that line of work. Uh, but we'll add them to my list of people. Cell agent. Cell 
agent. Bulletins. Notices cascade across the board. You dislike the way they need to move all of the time and believe that it reflects the short attention span people have in this city. Interesting. I was wondering if that elevator actually opens when when people approach it, and it would appear so. Waiting room. Interesting. Who's this? One of Central's fisheye cameras. They picked this guy up last night. He's got something in his wiring that might be contagious. I guess that means I'm safe, but still, poor kid. Interesting. So you can't... You don't ha have the ability to trance, I assume. Hey, kid. You alright? Huh, why do I have access in here if there's nothing to do in here? Right, I'm going to start a list of things we can interact with, but we don't know what it's for yet. And so... Young man in cell waiting room. Noted. Ooh, nice pixel art. Cell HQ, Animus, Balcony. Fulcrum Tower. When people worry, there's always something they find to help them. Drinking, the trance. Even God sometimes. Me, I've got a place I like to go to. It's helped me when I've been troubled in the past. Interesting. Not even having to glance for a moment, these words are etched in a memory deeper than anything else. Victor Regis, beloved wife, friend to all that lives. Uh, the 11th of August, 2034 to the 2nd of January, 2067. Right, so she would have been 33-ish, and that would have been 20 years ago. Think of us not as engineers, but as artists. So we don't know who this is. It could, for example, well, he looks a bit old for that. I was going to say it could be his mother. Um, but it seems quite likely that it is actually his wife. I wonder if that means he didn't remarry. I mean, obviously she'd still have... She'd still be dead and, you know, this site would exist. But I wonder if in terms of the storytelling on the part of the developers, if that's what they're trying to signal here. Oh no wait, it should have been 32. I don't know why I said 33-ish. I know the dates um, exactly, so it should have been 32. Think of us not as engineers, but as artists. I wonder if that means that she was 
uh, a pioneer in trancing as an engineer, like one of the people that was originally behind developing that technology. And after she died, perhaps in some trance-related accident, um... Do we know his first name? No, we just know him as Dr. Regis. I wonder if Dr. Regis then just turned his back on trancing altogether and that's why he never had wetware installed. This Gengineered tree is the kind of memorial I think she'd appreciate. Gengineered tree? Does that mean genetically engineered? Blimey. It's always startling how uh, quickly my... my notes grow when I'm just starting a new game like this. A game with a lot of lore. Gengineer was an interesting term that is hard to translate. At the storage locker for your gardening tools. It's empty. Okay. Why? Since I notice you don't have gardening tools on your person. You're fortunate to have gotten a garden this high. Oh, uh, sorry, this high up. The view just about clears the city's forest of skyscrapers, and on a good day, the Indian Ocean is visible from your bench. The Indian Ocean is visible from your bench. That narrows down the part of the world. What is the extent of the Indian Ocean? Obviously, it's going to border with India. What other countries does it border with? Okay, it's massive. So apparently the Indian Ocean covers um, almost all of the eastern side of Africa, the southern side of um, Europe stroke Asia. Well, it can't be all of it, can it? it must be mostly the Asian portion and goes all the way to Australia. Including covering New Zealand. Hmm. And goes down almost as far as uh, the Antarctic. Wow, for such a major ocean, you'd think I would have known that. Huh. Right, I see. So it doesn't border with Europe at all, it's Asia. Okay. I was thinking, because I couldn't see the Mediterranean on the map I was looking at, I realised that... Um, that, it, that um, something was off with my geography there. But no, I see. So the Indian Ocean is... it. It borders Africa, it's the eastern part of Africa, the western part of Australia, and the southern part of Asia. Huh. Interesting. 
I wonder if this is supposed to be based... Hmm. Where would this be based? Australia, maybe? Or New Zealand? Uh, the tree's unusual constitution causes it to shed its leaves more often than a natural specimen. You diligently tend to the mess it makes as often as work allows. You're not in the mood for gardening. So what can we actually achieve right now, I wonder? I'm not sure what our overall goal is. I mean, obviously we're trying to catch this mind jacker. But like, what's our immediate priority right now, I wonder? Fortunately, nobody was inside the car when the fall happened. You're pretty sure, at least. Cell Corpsman. The Corpsman appears uncomfortable standing too close to the body. He'll be the kind of agent who's more tour guide than police officer, but here to reassure citizens rather than resolve... Oh, sorry. Here to reassure citizens rather than resolve crimes. This is why they leave the actual investigations to case officer like yourself. Shouldn't that be a case officer? Or case officers like yourself and Lau? Yes, Doctor. Carry on, Corpsman. You wonder when the coroners are going to get here to clean up. The body lies here, unmoved since your earlier visit to the office. Central must want someone more skilled than the corpsman to handle it. I, we don't have the keycard on us anymore, do we? The elevator's locked. Panel says authorized personnel only. Yeah. Hold on, don't we have a thing for lockpicking and... Oh, how does this work? Open laser paper stone. News. Open case file. Okay, this looks uh, helpful. Lao, central, none. Ha, huh, so is this basically... Is the traveller essentially... A replacement for trancing for people that don't want to trance. Gives them all the same functions and uses the same network as trance users use, but you don't actually go into a virtual world. Centralized emergency logistics. Case file RE8473-A. stroke Category. Class 4 information. Larceny with composite harm to health of individual targets, i.e. mindjacking. Uh, case officers assigned. Regis, Dr. C, primary. Lau, Dr. M, secondary. Okay. We can update our names then. Since we have some initials. Uh, and she is a doctor. I don't remember if they've used his first name yet. Outline. Beginning in March 2087, a string of data theft attacks have been carried out within Newton. Using a process of resonant modulation with subjects' neuron wetware, the data contents of individual victims' brains are being destructively removed, with fatal consequences to targets. Right. Resonant modulation with subjects' neural wetware. Noted. Victims today. 18, Newton, unknown, global total, identity of perpetrator, not known, subject appears exceptionally skilled at infiltration and may have inside help from larger sponsor. 
Action case specialists Regis and Lau are assigned to compile all available data on Mindjacker's activity, including investigation of latest targets for analysis by Central. I'd say we learned surprisingly little from that, actually. We know the uh, notionally the number of people that have been killed, and we know the date this started, so I should probably make a note of those two things. Beginning... How do they know for certain that they... If they haven't caught the, per the perpetrator, how do they know for absolute certain that it was the same person in each case? Because they say there's been 18 deaths. But anyway, beginning March 2087, 18 deaths in Newton. Right, news. Uh, Eurofuel adopts metric time. Continuing a long-standing process of standardization, the Parliament of the European Federation has today ratified the uptake of metric time across the 46-member union. The measure, signed into law by EF Prime Minister Jacqueline Santini at um, 06... Uh, sorry, at 6... At, um, why are there 80 seconds? That's really thrown me. Well, it says 06 colon 52 colon 80. And then it says um, 15.40 p.m. So 20 to 4. Now I know they might be converting between time zones, but why would you end up... Um... Why would you end up going from 8 minutes to an o'clock to 20 minutes to an o'clock? And that's not decimal time either, I don't think. What would that be in decimal time? So if we say a day is 10 just because this has got two digits here. So you would do 15 times 60 plus 40. Um, which gives you 940 and then you would divide by the number of minutes in a day, which is gonna be 24 times 60. And you end up with 0.652777777. Okay, yes. Then this is this is decimal time. So they've decided, or it's a form of decimal time. They've decided that there is. Oh, that's what they mean by metric time. Right. Okay. So there's what ten hours in a day. Then a hundred minutes in an hour and a hundred seconds in a minute. All right. That's worth knowing. Metric time. Ten hours per day. Hundred minutes per hour 100 seconds per minute I know there are time zones that are both 30 minutes off and 50 minutes off but that's strange also 80 seconds in a minute is strange yep 
they've just decimalized the time. Um, but of course there are different ways you could try and decimalize time. It doesn't necessarily follow that you'd want to have 10 hours, for example, in a day. You could say there's just one day. Um, and then express everything as a fraction, like naught point dum de dum de dum for example. Um, I seem to remember during the French Revolution they did actually try decimal time at one point um, and then they ended up going back I, presumably because the rest of the world didn't go over to decimal time. Um, I wonder if uh, this was the same system they were using then. So where was I? Signed into law by EF Prime Minister Jacqueline Santini at uh, 20 to 4 is planned to be rolled out over the course of the next four years. Under the scheme, measure of the time of day is to be divided into 10 hours, each with 100 minutes made up of 100 seconds. Okay, that would have been a bit quicker just to read that. Uh, Santini, whose Federalist Party has been one of the keenest supporters of the new policy, greeted the change enthusiastically. Computing and commercial time measurements have long been carried out in a metric scale with atomic timing, and the division into 24 hours has itself merely been an arbitrary convention of history. While commonly referred to as metric time, the measurement of a day into periods of 10 should more accurately be known as decimal time. Internationally, the EF's policy has gained little traction, if not outright criticism, with some leaders condemning the change as unnatural. The Oceana Cooperative's government was less emotive, issuing a statement that though the change was one demanded by the European voter, which we will respect as a democratic institution, they made clear that the OC has no plans to adopt any similar measures. Okay, so we have the European Federation and the Oceana, what was it, cooperative. Would Oceana cooperative be in the part of the world near Australia? <laughs> Imagine using fractions, what time is it? It's 17 sixteenths past seven. Wait, for free apes, what time is it then? Oh, seven sixteenths, yes. Oceana is a geographical region comprising Australasia, uh, Melanesia, Micronesia, and Polynesia. I th right, I thought so. I had when it said Oceana, that's like the part of the world that my brain jumped to, but I wasn't sure why. And especially after the whole Indian Ocean incident, I wanted to double check. Um, any other news? Oh yeah, this was twenty hours before, so it's Wednesday the ninth at this point in the game. Uh, latest scores, Kabaddi. Oh, Kabaddi, I've heard of Kabaddi, I think I played it once. Isn't that a Indian sport? Where you like, there's two sides of the pitch, and I think, again, this was a long time ago. Is there a ball or something which you have to hold on to, and if you go to the other side of the pitch, the enemies, the, the opposition side of the pitch, you have to hold your breath, or something like that? Newton 5-5, five five, 37 UAE. I wonder if UAE is United Arab Emirates. Kabaddi is a contact team sport played between two teams of seven players originating in ancient India. Uh, the objective of the game is for a single player on offence referred to as a raider, to run into an opposing team's half of the court, touch as many of their players as possible and return to their half of the court without being tackled by defenders in 30 seconds. Points are scored for each player tagged by the raider, while opposing teams earn a point for stopping the raider. Players are taken out of the game if they are touched or tackled, but are brought bracket back in for each point scored by the team 
from a tag or a tackle. Oh, right. So there's no ball then. I was wrong about there being a ball. Yeah, I seem to remember I've played this game exactly once at school. So, unsurprisingly, my memory's a little hazy. Weather, City of Newton. Uh, currently dry, with light outbreaks of rain expected later this evening. Temperature, uh, 12 degrees C, 53.6 degrees Fahrenheit. UV index, midday, 7 to 8. Use SPF 30 plus and wear protective clothing. Uh, Chishiki says, a day and a night for staying indoors. Chishiki, we've heard that name before. We heard that name right at the start of the game. Who or what is Chishiki? News, Chishiki server. Error 125-H. Right. Because that was when we started the game and Miss Sesame was brought out of the trance by a disconnect. And that was the error that came up. Interesting. So is Chishiki a person or an AI? Some th a company? I'm making a copy of this message, not that it's particularly important, just because it establishes the fact that Chishiki is clearly an entity which could be expected to, sp which um, is capable of making a statement. Because, you know, for example, in software, often OS releases will be given a name. You know, like I seem to remember there was a Linux Mint Gloria release at one point. That particular version of Linux Mint was called Gloria. Just having a name doesn't mean it's an entity that can make statements, but clearly Chishiki is both a news server and capable of making statements. Oh, Chishiki Worldwide! It's a channel! Right. Well, I say a channel. It's a, a organization. Ah, oh, and there's some... Um, they're either uh, Kanji or Hanzi there. So they're an organization. This is starting to make more sense now. Yeah, I think it's common. Both Debian and Ubuntu releases have names, for example. Let me quickly look up on a Japanese dictionary if Jishiki is anything. Because I don't know what for certain what language it came from. Oh, it means knowledge or information. And it is that those exact kanji. Right, so it's... Okay, that makes sense. That all figures. Oh, I should have realised, actually, because that is the kanji for no. And I think that's the kanji for discern? Yeah, if I'd actually thought about it. Right, we're putting this together. So this is presumably a Japanese company that provides worldwide information in English. Japan's actually not that far away from Australia. They're not super close. But, like, they're not super far away either. Um, so, if w we've seen evidence that we might be... So, my current working theory is Newton is either in Australia or it's in... Um, New Zealand. And so the fact that they would have a Japanese influence here isn't completely beyond the the uh, realm of possibility. 
Actually, that makes me wonder. Is Newton a real settlement? I mean, there must be a settlement called Newton. Is there like a major Australian city called Newton by any chance? Newton, Newton, South Australia, Newton, Canada, Newton, New Zealand, and Singapore, and a lot of Newtons in the United States, Newton, Alabama, uh, Newton, Georgia, Newton, Illinois, Newton, Indiana, and it keeps going. Hmm. All right, so... I'm still thinking we're probably in Australia or New Zealand. We can't narrow it down any more than that yet. Let's have another save. Right, we can't go upstairs because we don't have uh, the keycard anymore. I always make sure this is the car we take out. Okay, but why? Let's head back to the office and see if I missed anything. We'll do, Regis. Okay. Oh, the terminal. I could have done that all along. So that's the same file, isn't it? Yes. Right, we've already read that. I assume the news is the same. It appears to be. Don't know what that is. Oh, could that be him and his wife? Yes. Looks like it. When did she pass on? That must have been within a year of her passing on. Oh, we know the Indian Ocean was within sight. Hmm. I'm still trying to... And Vichka sounds like a Indian name to me. Not that I would know, but... I'm still trying to narrow down where we are. I reckon we're probably in what they called the Oceana Cooperative and geographically in, Aus in Newton, Australia. That would be my guess. But you never know. Hello. We have emails. From null at null.node. Okay, this sounds like someone that values their anonymity. Uh, received 99 as duff 9 question mark 99 subject your legacy it is very important that you download and activate this package in a secure location as soon as possible tell no no, no one lives depend on it uh, is this just spam uh, actually do we have any new mail I wonder if that's actually ever a mechanic in the game. Will it ever be the case that if I click refresh mail that we'll actually get um, new emails that we have always want of, which perhaps allows us to progress a puzzle or perhaps access optional content? I wonder. Uh, Santiago, Dr. V. Oh, I don't think we knew that Dr. Santiago's initial was V. So, I'll add that to my notes. Goodness me, I have so many pages of notes already. Uh, Dr. Santiago V. S Dr. V. Santiago. Howdy. Hey, Charlie. Why are you hogging Lau so much? The rest of us need a wire head on cases as well. I can probably guess why you're not letting go of her. Well, hey, but seriously, man, Give the rest of us a turn. Uh-huh. What a charming gentleman he seems to be. 
Um, VFR Medical. Functional wetwear. Dr. Regis, as per our discussion at your last checkup, you have still not opted for enhanced neuroconnective wetwear. While not yet critical, please remember that your work will be increasingly difficult as support for non-WW systems is phased out. VF medical support. Uh, that's more evidence that he's just turned against the idea of having wetware. Although it has to be said, Dr. V here uh, complained about uh, not having a wire head, which I assume is slang for someone with wetware installed. And his um, partner, that is um, work partner, his colleague, the person he works most closely with, um, is Dr. Preston, wasn't it? So presumably neither of them have wet wear either. So I suppose it can't be that strange that... Um, it can't be seen as that strange that... Can't think of his name. Regis. Dr. Regis has opted not to yet. Wirehead. Just writing that down as a slang term. Right. Fulcrum Admin. Ah, Fulcrum. That's where Fulcrum Tower is, where his wife's um, memorial is located. Fixed costs. Charles Regis. Right. We have a first name. Charles, your monthly payment of, and then this strange currency, 8,100, wait, did we ever find out what the name of the currency was? I've got a vague feeling we did and I've forgotten what it was. Wasn't it like something or other bits? Um, for the rental of the tier, 42 Northwest Balcony Garden has been processed. Approval for continued use granted by E. Vargas, Centralized ADM. Thank you for your continued contribution to the city's green skyline. Uh, Central. This was yesterday. Continued van vandalism. Dr. Regis, the optical feed from your office is no longer functional. Based on past examples of your behavior, I believe it is likely to be your own hand. While you may... Wait, surely they would know who rendered it non-operational because it's a camera while you may object to perceived surveillance please recall that this is for your safety and that of other cell staff that is incredibly that's an incredibly light-handed response that suggests to me that they actually don't have the legal right to install those and they've just done so and most people don't complain let's face it if they had any leverage to force that on their employees that email would not be written to be quite so um, quite so tolerant. Vanderwaal, GL. Subject, no, no, no. Dr. Regis, apparently my previous answer was unclear. No, I will not help you with your investigations despite your crude threats. If you continue to make baseless accusations about any supposed ties I, ha I am alleged to have with organised crime, you shall be hearing from my lawyers. Um, why is more P? Dr. Petra. Subject, Baxter. Hi, Charlie. I'm afraid it doesn't look good regarding Baxter. Central's approved the parole. Don't take it personally, it's not like they ignored your input, but, well, you're not exactly going to be the most objective person after what he did to you and your wife, are you? Interesting. Baxter. Parole. You and your wife interesting I'm wondering whether I should write down a few more of these people or whether they're not going to come up again like Dr. Wisemore Petra hmm well, I have no other leads, so I'll probably be opening this in a moment. 
before then, can we compose messages? Error, unable to connect to M421 stroke mail host colon global. Check connections and try again. If problems persist, contact an engineer for hardware errors or a medical professional for wetware system support. Oh, even though we're not wearing wetware. Right, so so far, every time we've tried to compose an AT mail, we've been, it's that, the attempt has been rejected. Wait, what's this? Oh, I can call people. I've just had a thought. Uh, you know where it gave those four numbers? M4214. I wonder if that's also the number you use to call people. I wonder if that's somehow their user ID. Although that would seem a bit unusual, like four digit numbers, really? But this is an adventure game, and obviously they'd want to... Um, keep things simple most of the time. I thought I had another one of those users written down somewhere. M8264. Um, I think that was Avery's number. Right. Let's try this. Voipcom. So what will we? I'm I'm if I'm so what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to try and call the number that we just got for our own user to see if I get an error which says something like you cannot call yourself. Do you know? I've never actually tried to dial my own number before. I don't know what would happen on the telephone. Hmm. Just one of those things I suppose you just don't think about. Hello. You have reached the voicemail with Jamal Core. Please leave your name and number and I will get back to you. VoIP. That was a while ago since I used voice over IP. Well, VoIP is... I mean, VoIP's very common now, isn't it? That's what Discord uses. Um, technically, if you've got any video game which has um, voice chat, that's VoIP. The uh, I understand the te VoIP technology is pretty ubiquitous now. Right, so that's disproven my theory about numbers, which is fine. How many digits do we expect these to be? Okay, not clear. It could be as much as this, but it could be much less. So that's three, four, and nine. Well, Discord just uses some voice chat protocol. VoIP, as far as I know, was more specific. Also called SIP, I think. Which was really landline phone over IP. Oh my goodness. Why would you do that? Like, dial-up was the reverse. That was IP over landline. <laughs> I suppose if you had an internet connection, but not a telephone line. But that, that seems a bit backwards. Also, I didn't realise that. I thought VoIP just meant en any any um, protocol that involved taking um, a person's voice, presumably recorded from a microphone, and then sending it over the internet to be played at the other end um, in real time. 
Right, let's open this strange attachment. Message to PCK. You download the data package to your traveller. You're unsure who this might be. An informant, perhaps? As much as you dislike the cloak and dagger approach they've requested, you'll take any help you can get right now. Right, if it's on my traveller, I'm going to go to the tower to uh, look at what's on it. Because they said they wanted me to go to a... Um, I've forgotten the exact word they used, but essentially a, a secure location where I won't be... Where others won't... aren't likely to... Um, overhear or oversee anything. I think it was kind of a transition. When people still wanted a landline, but the service provider didn't want the overhead providing both internet and phone services. Also, phone services, I think, use much more static configuration. When people still wanted a landline. I mean, don't doesn't everyone still have a landline? Or is this, um... Is that not the case in Sweden? I don't. I only have mobile. Oh. Fair enough. To be fair, I mean, the vast majority of people these days do have a mobile phone. I can understand that uh, there may be a lot of people that don't see the need for a landline. But I wasn't under the impression they'd gone extinct or anything. Hmm. The data package attached to that message. Whoever sent it wants me to open it in a private place. Hopefully it contains something that'll help us get to the mind jacker, but I'm still suspicious. As you should be, but at the very least, your mind cannot be jacked. Here goes nothing. Oh wow. Dr. Regis. Yes. Regis? How'd you get here? Central's still giving us a negative on the aerostat. It's like it just vanished. So I thought I'd better give you a heads up. Do you mind? I was in the middle of something. How did you find me? Central told me you'd be here at Fulcrum Tower. Also, it said, stop turning your traveler off. What a surprise. I like my privacy, though. That's why I come here. You hang around the balconies much? It's a memorial. Take a look at the plaque. Viksha Regis, beloved... Oh, Regis, this is... I'm sorry, Charlie, I didn't know. You wouldn't have. I don't tell anyone about it. Wow. I know you've got some seriously high up strings you can pull, but I didn't think they'd ever let someone be buried up here. And how the hell can you afford somewhere like this? Um... Both two and three are good answers. I'm not quite sure what, what he's going to say if I click one, since it's just a name. I've just noticed there's vehicles in the sky. Oh my goodness, I've been so un inobservant. This apartment is three years old, and it doesn't even have landline connected. Only fiber for internet. Goodness me. That's a very new apartment, though. So what would have been on that site... If you stood there, well, if it's three years old, I assume they started building you know, a couple of years before that. What would have been on that site five years ago? Uh, she's not buried here. She isn't buried up here. She was processed like anyone else. Ooh, grim. The tree's special, though. I made it myself from scratch. Planted and grew? No, made. It's a cross of Chrysophyllum canato and Prunus serrata. The junk DNA in every cell of it contains her entire genome. Wow. Takes a lot of looking after. But you're doing wow. it for her. Makes it all worth it. It's worth the cost. You're right, though. This place is very expensive. Why do you think I live in a pod in the southeast barrel? I didn't know that was where you lived, either. Pod... In the southeast barrel. Uh, Dr. Regis's home. 
honestly, this is pretty sad. Like, it's nice that he's honouring his wife's memory. I wouldn't criticise that on its own. But by the sounds of it, he's spending the vast majority of his earnings just to have this place and has been for the last 20 years and has been depriving himself of things that presumably he could do with to make that happen. Which, uh, Viksha. We were married for four years. I'm sorry it couldn't last. We met in our professions. She was a gen engineer as well. You didn't have kids? My previous work, well, it left both of us infertile. We had embryos prepared through IVF, but we never got to using them. I'm really sorry. I remember reading... It was Baxter, wasn't it? Don't push it, Dr. Lau. Sorry. Left infertile? This is some very interesting lore. Why would they be processing bodies? I can understand doing that with metal and plastic, but bodies? Is the world so heavily overpopulated that they're being forced to recycle anything and everything, including human bodies or something? Probably some old military storage buildings that hadn't been used for 20 years, I guess. Don't know, actually, but that's what was on the aerial photo from 1975. Blimey. Interesting. Baxter. I think I figured out why you went off the grid to come up here tonight. You heard about Baxter, didn't you? They let a monster like that walk. They didn't parole him because they approve of what he did. He's out because he's got skills Central thought would be useful. With a governor jammed in his limbic system, well, he won't be the same man. He can't even imagine hurting anyone again. Even if it were completely true, I know that there is absolutely no way I could forgive him. On the bright side, he'd probably be pretty mad at you, too. Well, if he could have thoughts like that anymore without falling over and puking, you put him away, and that counts for something. I know it's not exactly normal for you to open up, but if you want someone to talk to, I... Central wants us? I'm afraid so. We better get going. That is pretty grim. You coming? Just a minute, Max. I just need a moment to think, Max. A little privacy? It's why I came up here in the first place. I understand, Charlie. I'll be in the car. I'll see how long I can stall Central. Max, I... Yes? Nothing. That's all right, Charlie. I understand. I'll be in the car. I can't ask for her help in this. I'm not even sure what this is yet. You are alone, as requested? Yes. Now what is this about? 1448D-A, 1448D-B, 1448D-C, 1448D-E. Excuse me? So that was 1448D hyphen A, and then the same thing repeats with B through E. Your stomach lurches as you recognize this image. You know then... You've seen them before, but you hadn't remembered them by number. Whoever is calling you has four embryo containers, your own. Huh. That's surprising. What about them? They were removed from the El Rasis Medical Center. Originally deposited at 1615 on the 11th of November 2065. They have been fertilized by yourself and Dr. Viksha Regis. They were frozen at the earliest viable phase of growth. Three are female and one is male. They were deposited after your fertility treatment proved... Stop! Why are you telling me this? Who are you? And what are you doing with my kit... my embryos? You are about to meet with a contact, Gil Vanderwall. In his home is an active memory module, a most unique model. You will secure it for us. Further instructions will follow. What if I refuse? And what if I don't? That image could be a sim. Apparently, you need more incentive not to waste my time. One. 
one is gone. Three remain. Do it quickly. Your legacy is in jeopardy. Oh, it must have been B through D then. I, d I don't think he should cooperate. I think he should just live with the fact that he won't have biological children. I know that sounds harsh, but... Like, what's the alternative? He can't... <laughs> he can't just start... Start uh, working for... Uh, some arbitrary criminal, because they've got a hold of his embryos. A conflict brews in your mind and in your heart. Giving into blackmail like this would be the antithesis of everything you stand for, both as an agent of the law and as a human being. On the other hand, you cannot bring yourself to risk a small part of the legacy that you've worked for so many years to maintain. Save the lives of our children? I think I can accept that. No, you shouldn't. So, despite the incident at Animus, I may have some good news. We might have a break in that string of mindjackings. Vanderwall agreed to talk. I, uh, yeah. How'd you guess? He couldn't hold out forever. What did he say? Didn't want to talk over the... Lau? Central wants a word. Dr. Regis. Dr. Lau. This isn't just a social call for an update, is it, Central? Dr. Regis, lately you have spent a great deal of your time off network. It is for your safety and that of the citizens that we... Central? All points bulletin, evacuation in progress at Barber's Gate Transit Station. Case officers Regis and Lau assigned to crisis management. What's happening at the... All case data has been transferred to Dr. Lau. Your vehicle has been rerouted. Please seek an expedient resolution to the situation. Central out. Business like as ever. Let's go see what this is about. Arbor's Gate Station. Advertising. It's all the same crap wherever you are. It looks a lot more impressive if you're wired, though. Does it? So if you're wired, as they put it, that is to say you have the uh, the wetware instilled into your brain, then it, it, it augments your reality, does it? Even the drones are helping to evacuate commuters from the station. He doesn't look like he's coping well with this. Hey, don't be so mean about the corpsmen. They're what keeps Cell running. I'd be a lot more impressed if they didn't have Central pulling their strings the whole time. Central pulling their strings? When it says corpsmen... So I'm thinking now about what they said about... Baxter being released and having a governor in his limbic system, so whenever he has a bad thought he throws up, which was a pretty dark and distressing thing to um, hear about, even if he was an ex-convict. I wonder if these corpsmen are actually people that have been hooked up to Central and have had a lot of their higher functions knocked out. I wonder if they are essentially extensions of Central. Sir, over here. I'm Dr. Regis. This is Dr. Lau. We've been assigned as crisis management. Corpsman Durian, 4th Network. Has it gotten any worse? Not yet, but we've not heard any word since... Hey, I'm the only one here who hasn't got wiring in his head. Central hasn't had the decency to update me. Oh, sorry, Charlie. Well, it's another one, sir. Another what? A, uh, bomber. Another one? What do you mean, another one? This is like the fourth this year I know of. Central's been doing its best to keep public awareness down. I guess it doesn't want public panic about it. Or it doesn't want people to think we haven't got it under control. So how do you know about it? I talk to people? I've got a social life, unlike someone. Central marked him when he tripped a chroma sensor. Central locked down the trains and started an evacuation. It looks like he panicked and holed up in one of them. Chroma sensor? Hostages? Anyone in danger? Any hostages? Central's not mentioned any in the case file. That either means there aren't any... Or it doesn't consider them sufficiently important. Probably wants the transit running again more than it cares about human life. Sounds like he was surprised. Didn't have time to take any. He's not thinking in terms of hostages. He was made as a weapon. Regis? He's a biobomber. The explosives are made of... They are... His bones. That's how he tripped a DNA sensor. Right. Interesting. 
bio bomber. Uh, do we have backup? Do we have any support inbound? Afraid not. There's a select team about ten minutes out, but Central doesn't give this case a high enough public order cost to warrant it. You mean it won't send backup because it doesn't want to worry people? Sorry, Regis. And, uh, you're not gonna like this. Central's just bumped the priority. It wants the suspect neutralized. I'm going to try to talk him down. Neutralized is a vague term. I'm gonna try to talk him down. Regis? It sounds like he's hesitating. I may be able to exploit that. But just in case, get to high ground. Fine. You probably know what you're doing. The signal is hope. Don't fire until you hear me say it. Hope. Got it. Keep the public away, and run one more check for bystanders in the station. We can't afford casualties if this goes wrong. Will Central approve of this? We don't have time to wait and find out. Wish me luck. Interesting. No time to look at the case file, then. Hello? Who's there? there? I just want to talk. I'm unarmed. And I'm opening the doors. What do you want, heathen? Uh, the sight is distressingly familiar. The brace, the weakened bones, the signs of tampering in a young man that brings back memories long buried. It seems that the best hope... Hope? It seems that the best hope would be to leverage what you know about him, trying to find some common ground. You sound American, I'm here to resolve this, you're under arrest. Well, okay. Maybe we're in America, or maybe... Because he said common ground, maybe Regis and this man are both American, even though they're in Australia or something, I don't know. You sound like you're from America, am I right? Texas, I'd guess. Yes, you're right. I thought so. I grew up there myself, near Fort Worth. What part do you hail from? H Houston. I can remember what it's like out there. It's part of why I came here in the first place. I'm Dr. Regis, by the way. Some folk call me Charlie. Thomas Beckett. Like the saint. Nice to meet you all, Thomas. Yes, I was gonna say. Interesting. Thomas Beckett. I wonder if that is his... his um... Is Christian name or not? Or just an alias? Uh, tell me what's happened. So, how do you like the city? It's a wretched den of sin. Like Sodom or Gomorrah. Well, it's not my favorite, but I wouldn't go that far. I take it you're not here as a tourist. I'm here to do my duty and strike a blow for the Lord. Really? We're a long way out from the war here. Whole other continent, in fact. I... Yes, I know, but now I'm surrounded, and I must make use of what I have, the fire within me. Interesting, how's the scoliosis? Hmm, that might provoke him. You need medical help. That probably will provoke him. You're not going to last very long. None of these seem like great options, but going by the assumption I made, or the observation I made earlier, that in general, it seems like the third option's the harshest, second one's neutral, and the first option's the lightest, and the fact that we were told to strike a common ground, I wonder if that's code for always pick option one. How's the scoliosis? I... what? And the osteoporosis. The rickets and the diabetes. How do you... It's a common side effect of sloppy prenatal genetic engineering. That and having your body lay explosive nitrates in your bones instead of calcium. It's a test of our faith. Only the truly worthy who can... It shows just how little the engineers who made you cared about your health. They made you to walk and to carry a bomb in your bones. The fact that you're a living, feeling, thinking human was merely an inconvenience. Right, that's telling us we have the opportunity now to have her take the shot. Regis, I'm in position. Visibility good? 
Zero Crosswind. Standing by. There have been times when I've lost faith, but I can't let this be one of them. <laughs> Just say hope. I thought the whole point of having a, wor a code word like hope was um, so that uh, you could slip it into uh, a sentence and it seemed natural while the sniper knows it's time to take the shot. Like, well, I hope it doesn't come to that. Or something like that. I've had experiences with you guys. I used to work with guys like you a whole lifetime ago. The Lord's Warriors? Something like that. Kids who'd been altered, weaponized youth. You've grown up with so many health problems, groomed since birth for a noble sacrifice. But this, does this seem like the glorious role you were promised? It is my duty to God to sacrifice myself. In an empty transit station, thanks to a piece of bad luck? This wasn't where I was supposed to go, but even the original target. It doesn't seem to fit with God's plan. But if I agreed to go with you, I'd have failed in my duty. I'd just be a prisoner in a strange land. For the Lord hears the needy and does not despise his own people who are prisoners. Psalm 69, verse 33. You're right. Wherever I am, I'm always in the Lord's sight. There are more ways to do his work than destruction. We can help you find it. We can probably even fix your bones. All right. I shall not resist. Thomas, you've made a wise choice. More importantly, you've made it for yourself. But will he still be put on trial? The suspect has surrendered. Take him into custody. Carefully. Yes, Doctor. Regis, that was amazing! Central's going to be pissed, though. That was a huge risk. Screw Central. Come on. We've got work to do. The corpsmen can handle it here. Yeah, with a little help from the bomb squad. Wait, what did that say? So we're in Elysium Tower. I thought that said fission or something. So, Vanderwall finally agreed to cooperate? Yep. He could give us a head start on the Mindjacker. We'd better not keep the man waiting then. Still um, no indication how Miss Sesame fits into all this. Cleaning bot. A janitorial drone patrols the hallways, executing its adaptive planning software to track down dirt. The dock in the wall where the autonomous vacuum cleaner gets its power and offloads its waste. There is a notice above it. The management thanks you for allowing the sanitation machinery and staff to continue their work by not obstructing the docks. These stations are for the use of custodial equipment only. Floating sculpture. I don't get the appeal of this cubist stuff. Looks more like abstract impressionism to me. A classic piece by Chandler, if I'm not mistaken. You know, that's a lot less impressive when you can call up a search inside your head. <laughs> so, okay. So having this wetware installed into your brain not only gives you um, a degree, not only allows you to, to trance, not only gives you a degree of um, augmented reality, but you also get to just intrinsically access a database. Interesting. Uh, did we know which door it was? Oh, well there's only one door available, so presumably this one. Vanderwall, you there? You sure he's in? He told us to meet him here. Central hasn't logged any departures from this floor since this morning either. Oh dear. Uh, just updating my to-do list. Uh, maybe. I'm putting maybe because I don't know if I'll get a choice or not. I don't know if this game has multiple endings and decisions or not. Maybe retrieve... Mem... Memory module... From, what was his name? Vander. Vanderwall.
Noted. How are we getting in then? Oh, we have the Traveller. Does that allow us to... to lockpick? Right, this is the same case file we read before, isn't it? While the door has an expensive hardwood appearance, you've no doubt that a man as paranoid as G.L. Vanderwall has spared no cost to ensure that it's at least bomb-proof. I mean, that's pretty impressive, if true. Okay, I can't... Oh, open laser paper stone. What is laser paper stone? Uh, welcome to Paper Laser Stone, a modern take on the centuries old classic. The rules are simple. Rock beats laser, paper beats rock, laser beats paper. You have limited ammunition though, so think carefully. Interesting. Uh, has the news updated? Hungarian artist, Hungarian artist to visit Newton. The world-renowned father-daughter art team of Tibor and Kami Pushkas will be bringing their exhibition to the city of Newton this summer as part of the European Federation's Cultural Ambassador Program, known for their pioneering fusion of classical styles with the interactivity of the trance. The pair rose to global attention after EF Arts Minister Jerome Jurgen became so overwhelmed with emotion that he had to be placed into a coma to recover. It was an epiphany, he told Chis. Uh, Chishiki. As though all of my life I'd been... I hadn't known I lacked, and this was the diagram showing the void in my soul. Other viewers have reported similarly transformative experiences, though skeptics believe that these may simply have to do with more direct neural programming possible f uh, through the trance than with the art itself. They're just jealous that we're not wired. Sorry, they're just jealous that they're not wired, replied the duo when this was suggested. Hmm. Worrying. Uh, soccer, Newton 2, 1 to Paris. Match in progress. Weather. Currently dry with light outbursts of rain expected late this evening. Temperature 12 degrees, 53.6 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry, degrees Celsius. UV index midday 7 to 8. Use SPF 30 plus and wear protective clothing. Chishiki says a day and a night for staying indoors. Well, we read that already. Uh, well, while we're here, why don't we find out what uh, this paper laser stone is about? Okay. I see where the limited ammunition comes in. We've got ten of each. But presumably I don't know what they're going to play. But is this not random? So laser is scissors, isn't it? So rock would beat it, presumably. So they went laser, paper. Are they going to go rock next? In which case I should go paper? No. Laser... Paper, paper. Let me write this down quickly. What I need to... If, if this isn't complete luck, then I have to spot a pattern. So I went... Laser. They went laser. I chose rock. They chose paper. I chose paper, they chose paper. Not noticing a pattern yet. Maybe if they win, they always pick the same one again? If they draw, maybe they go... Well, if we drew on lasers and then they went to paper and then we drew on paper, 
Presumably they're going to go to rock next. Yes. But that could have just been luck. Paper. Rock. So we're currently thinking the algorithm might be, if I won last time, do the same thing again. If we drew, then go to the next one, where it's laser goes to paper and paper goes to rock. We don't know what their decision would be if they lost. Logically, you might think they would then go to the... They might be thinking, well, if they've just won, they're going to pick the same one again, so I should go to whichever one beats that, maybe? So I chose paper, so they'd be wanting to go to laser, so I want to go rock. They went paper. And I went rock. Okay. Does that make any sense? That suggests if they lose, they go the other way. So if we consider an ordering, laser, rock, paper, is that right? Laser, no, laser, paper, rock, and then back to laser, presumably. They'll advance forward if they draw. They'll go backwards if they lose. And they'll stay on the same one if they win. This could all be wrong. What I'm doing is I'm just looking at what they're doing and trying to think, think along the lines of if there is a pattern, what is that pattern? It could be completely random. Um... Alright, but assuming that's correct, they just won, so they're going to go paper again, so I need to go laser. No. Okay, if there is a pattern, that's not the pattern then. I'm starting to think it's just random. We've certainly seen them win. And stay the same, and win and change. In fact, both times they've won, I've done rock and they've done paper. One time they went to paper next, the other time they went to laser next. So that does suggest it's random. Way, if they've got limited ammunition, as it were, then I suppose the other thing I could be doing is counting what they've used up. And then at the very end of the game, I would know, oh, well, they can't use such and such because they've used them all already. I think that's probably the game, and it probably is random. All right. Uh, they've... Hmm. Let's just pick a few more choices semi-randomly. Well, actually, in a very systematic fashion, but not with a... Um, not with a view to exploiting any perceived weakness. The only thing I'm particularly trying to do is make sure I uh, know how much they have left of each one. Actually, I should probably be doing a tally for that, shouldn't I? 
So, uh, yeah. So, paper, laser, rock. I'm sure this is the high octane action you can you come to my streams to see. Uh, so laser, paper, paper, rock, paper, laser, rock, paper, laser, laser. paper rock so by my um, counting they've used five papers so far, four lasers and three rocks is that possible? that can add up to twelve doesn't it? one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yep that makes sense paper rock I do seem to be winning more than you'd stati statistically expect, though. Laser. Oh! I'll tell you what they might be doing. I was originally thinking, do they have an algorithm here um, where they're looking at say the last round and using that to decide what they should do the next round but it could be that they're actually just counting their ammunition and say picking one based on a weighted random distribution so that if they have more of a certain type they're more likely to use it in which case they've used the least rocks at this point so they're most likely to use rock next which would imply I should use paper. But then that would make my distribution uneven. And because my score's ahead of theirs, I see no reason to do that. Because at worst I'll draw here. They did choose rock. Okay, and now they've used five of every one. Okay. So it should be completely random what they choose next. So they chose laser twice. Interesting. No, they chose paper this time, sorry. I wrote that down wrong. So rock is their most likely next choice. I think. Oh, does this still add up? So seven papers, six lasers, five rocks. So that's going to be 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That doesn't add up. Oh dear, where did I go wrong? Right, how many lasers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's what I've got. How many papers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I've got 7 written down. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, so they're most likely to pick rock next, I think. But they didn't. But I don't know how strong the the um, the weighting is. If it's completely random, it doesn't matter what I pick.
Uh, right, so they might pick laser or rock next. Well, they could pick any, but they're most likely to. Rock beats laser. But they chose paper. So... They're almost out of paper at this point. If they're almost out of paper, they can't beat rock. If they're almost out of paper, then they're very unlikely to pick paper. But I could just wait till they have no paper left. That probably makes more sense. Alright, um, laser then. And they chose paper. Right, uh... Right, laser... C my lasers can't win anymore, because they don't have any more paper. My rocks should either win or draw from now on. I will have to use the lasers right at the end, though. Uh, what was that? That was rock and... Rock. Excuse me? Are you... Do you not have limited ammo? Let me count this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, maybe I miscounted. Maybe they are only up to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, my tally is correct. They've played eleven papers. If they've played eleven papers, then they clearly don't have limited ammo. It doesn't matter what I play, it's random. I'm pretty sure. I haven't noticed any pattern to this. Uh, right, so that was laser, and that they chose rock. Rock, laser. Laser, laser. Laser rock. Annoying, because I was actually trying to click paper, but for some reason the game registered laser, but... Hey-ho. Paper rock. And... Rock laser. Rock laser. So, yeah, it's possible there's a pattern to their strategy there, but if there is, I didn't find it. Rock, stroke, laser, stroke, paper. Uh-oh, looks like you've run out of rocks, lasers, and paper. You must wait a thousand seconds before you can continue. Or if you want to play straight away, just go to the website and purchase some THE credits to continue. THE Games, world leaders in free-to-play since 2055. T-H-E games. I wonder if that's the T same T-H-E that does the food. Still. Can I really not play? Yep, I can't play. Fair enough. That was still interesting. Right, let's actually get on with the game proper. How do I get through this door? A panoramic fisheye camera, probably there so that the Vanderwell, Vanderwells can decide whether or not they want to let someone in. I can't help but notice there's a little cleaning bot here. And think I'm supposed to do something with it. 
pay Max. What's up? The mind jacking case. Give me an update on the mind jacking case. Labs come back with the report on the body at Animus. We can definitely link that one to our investigation. Same MO. Victim was wired, brain burnt, but not consistent with a straightforward murder. More like a rapid, intrusive, and destructive brain scan. So we're still going with memory theft rather than elaborate assassinations. Exactly. No conclusive patterns on targets, I'm afraid. Vanderwall said he would give us a lead on the next victim, though. So much for him retiring from organized crime. Uh, the transit station. How are you holding up? I'm okay. A little hungry. I meant about what happened at the station. I think you did the hard work on that one. Don't let it go to your head, though. The door. You've got a brain for wetware systems, right? Don't you mean full of wetware systems? Huh. <laughs> this isn't just me being offensive. Can you have a word with the door controls? I'll see what I can do. <laughs> this isn't just me being offensive. I am being offensive, but that's not all it is. Got it. Wonderful. I reset the password. It's now password one. I'm just glad you're on our side now. <laughs> Damn straight. I could probably make a lot more money if I turned to crime. Make use of Lau's skills to open the door. Again, does that mean I didn't have to? Was there another way in? Hey, whoa, whoa, wait. What's up? The bomber. That bomber. He was American, wasn't he? He certainly had the accent. Sounded Texan. Did you know him? Dr. Lau. Texas is an enormous place. I do not happen to know every single other person who lived there. And besides, I left well before he would have been born. Do you ever regret doing that? Not for a second. Especially after seeing how it's gotten now. More to the bomber. There's more to what was between you and that kid, wasn't there? Like you said, you never met him before, but it seemed personal to you. You're very perceptive, Dr. Lau. It's useful for an investigator. You want me to stop asking? <sighs> There's a reason that kids like him and hundreds others exist. It's not because the seditionists thought that weaponizing the human body was the biggest innovation since air power, but the engineers that got to make these kids, for whatever reason, didn't say no. Regis, I... You could say I knew him too well, inside and out. That is what bothers me. Interesting. Because he was a gene engineer. Any luck with the Mindjacker's airship? Still nothing. Like I said, it just vanished. And Central still claims there wasn't anything there at all. But we saw it, Regis. Exactly. Something's not right. Central. I wonder if Central's hiding something. Why do you hate Central, Charlie? What? I don't hate Central. You're always arguing with it. I've seen you sabotage more cameras than anyone. It does so much for Newton. The city runs like a well-oiled machine. Maybe, but I think it's working in inappropriate areas. What would count as inappropriate for a city coordinator? Like this. Fundamentally, policing is a human matter. Machines and synthetics don't commit crimes. I don't expect them to be able to understand how perpetrators think and act. So, you're old-fashioned. You'd rather not talk about it. Maybe later? Keep at it, Max. Can do, Regis. Good conversation. Let's make our way through that door. Oh, I wonder if I could have interacted with the keypad. Uh, uh oh. You? you in here? Oh, excuse us, miss. I'm Dr. Regis. This is Dr. Lau. We're cell agents. That miss, looks like blood. Are you alright? Regis, this is a synth. <laughs> the look on your face is priceless. It's a very expensive one, but it's still a synth. And apparently out of charge. Something else about it bothers me more. I know. I sure hope that isn't blood. What have we got here? Drinks machine, wine rack, terminal, stairs, refrigerator, food machine. I think we need to locate Vanderwall first thing. We can have a proper search of the place later. Jesus Christ. What the hell happened in here? Did someone get to Vanderwall before he could talk? Maybe it's a domestic gone bad? Uh, the blackmailer said nothing about this. Possibly didn't even expect this themselves. Still, you need to find out what they demanded. For the whole ap apartment is picked apart by forensic drones. We should check around first. What? 
we need to get a look at it ourselves before the crime scene people wreck it. Okay. Good idea. Really? Well, yes. Who are you and what have you done with Charlie Regis? What do you mean? You're unusually cavalier today. You got something on your mind? I mean, I know you don't usually care what Central thinks about regulations, but... It's the right thing to do. We've just found the scene of at least two murders. Central is going to be tied up with the bomber. It'll take hours for anyone else from cell to be sent out. And damn regulations, these men deserve a resolution. Wow, I've never seen you get so impassioned. Those old world values of yours are useful sometimes after all. Apparently, she thought it was sufficiently in character of you. Oh, I see. So the reason she was surprised is because in-game they think that he's going to steal the memory module. At least that's what the game seems to be pushing us towards. Um, and so her suggesting we look and us agreeing to it, she found suspicious. Standing out from the... Festival of Gore is a human hand. It appears to be fairly intact. Picked up hand. I'm not sure you should be picking it up. Gil Vanderwall's cold, dead hand. Oh, is that for some sort of um, handprint recognition or something? It's like they had an industrial accident. In the bedroom? A jacuzzi sits in the corner of the room. You'll wonder what kind of man needs to have a pool quite so readily available at all times. This is Dakari Vanderwall, Giel's husband. I can see four gunshot wounds in his chest. It was either these or he drowned, but that's kind of academic at this stage. Add them to the list of people. When I find it, it's quite a ways back in my notes. Dakari Vanderwell. Husband of Giel. Noted. I have no idea who that's supposed to be. Shall I trance it for you? There's no such thing as comfortable ignorance anymore, is there? Huh? You old people are weird. What a delightfully normal conversation to have in such a gruesome scene. The wire coat hanger seems to be stuck in the joint between the floor and the floorboards. After a couple of tugs, the hanger comes loose. Is that, is that an area under the floor that we might be able to access? I don't think I can justify taking that. Picked up photograph. A photograph of two men, a younger Giel and Akari Vanderwal. An urban river in the background, the Eiffel Tower is dwarfed by looming glass skyscrapers. The back of the photograph has a note written by hand, the wedding, August 2071. So what was that? Um, 16 years ago, was it? No, more than that. No. Oh, what was the date? 16 years ago, right. No, because it's July. So 15 years ago. Almost 16. Right, there, I add that to my notes. Van der Waal. Wedding. August. 2071. Why do they have 25 written on their bed? Hmm.
Right, I don't think there's anything more we can do in here immediately. Part of me wants to turn the maid back on, but the other part of me thinks that isn't she just going to kill everyone? That's a very expensive synth they've got for a house girl. Jealous? She's not my type. What do you think they use her for? They may be married, but I wouldn't put it past them using her for other things than cleaning. There's a product marker on its back. SNS Synthetics. They're not showing up on a net search. Maybe Vanderwall has more info on his terminal? Good idea. We can see if we can get their help in extracting more from this machine. See? I'm not just a pretty face. No one said you were. Um, SNS Synthetics, maker of Van de Waal uh, Synth Made. Password, biometric. I had a feeling. It's definitely his hand, but the system won't recognize it. User Snudia <laughs> Bocky. Hmm. Make a note of that. Snudia Bocky. Oh, we can call people from here. All right. The kitchen has a machine for preparing and serving drinks sitting in a nest of wine bottles. Howdy, partner. What can I get y'all? The usual... What are you? What happened here? That's all. It's kind of tempting to say the usual, isn't it? Vodka. On the rocks. Twist of lime. That's Reaches. not what I meant. Fine. Make it two. Uh, what happened here? There's been a bit of an incident. You don't happen to have seen what went on. Hey, mister. I don't just go blabbing my customer's secrets like that. He's bluffing. He never saw anything. You're just bitter you never left that wall. Hey, it's a fine job I have here. I ain't seen nothing since Mr. Vanderwall got his wine out of the rack this evening. What time? <sighs> I can't even ask that. What are you? What do you do here, then? Well, I'm, I'm the bartender. I fix up drinks for the fine folk who live here. Anything else? Anything else? Heck, drinks is a whole lot of stuff to know. Why, I'm the foremost expert on fine drinking in these here parts. So, if anyone wanted to know what to put into a drink, they'd come to me, sure as shooting. I'll speak to you later. I'll keep your tab open. I, I thought when it said the usual, he would literally say the usual and see what popped out. That's unlikely to lead to anything helpful, but it would have been interesting. The large refrigerator is a combination lock built into the door. Is this refrigerator locked? Who the hell locks a refrigerator? Maybe they've got really expensive tastes? Although, they've got the food machine as well. Perhaps they've got something else in there. Good point. Very good point. Can I get the refrigerator open with the coat hanger? That's not going to get... Okay. I'm going to have to start writing a list of things to do just in this area, aren't I? Right. So. Gain access to terminal. Retrieve info on maid at synth open refrigerator right is there anything else that we know we want to do right now i'm suspicious that there's actually an area beneath the crime scene based on the patterns we saw on the floor the what looked like a a metal hatch that could open but I don't know that for a fact, and it wasn't interactable. Hi, I'm Sheppy. What can I get for you? 
Uh, what are you? What are you? I'm Shucky, your friendly food helper. All right, what's this machine you come in? This masterpiece is the DHE Food Hormone Range Comestible Synthesizer. It's the best thing since sliced bread. What's it even make? Sounds like it's trying too hard to be helpful. I love helping. Helping is fun. What can you make? What's on the menu? If you're feeling packish, I could whip up some frilled eggs and white wine sauce. Or how about some nice tartare rounds? Sounds better than what mine can do. Or if you want some of Mr. Gill's favorite, I could always make toaster pastries. How expensive are you? How much did you set the Vander Walls back then? I'm only 410,000 Quanta from all good retailers. Quanta. That's more than I make in a year. These people can apparently afford the finer things. So, Vander Waal, Chefy mod uh, model. was 410,000 quanta and so we do have the name of the currency now uh, can you make can you make chicken hacienda uh, of course how oh, i just made it up i can extrapolate what it involves based on your request tone of voice and dietary habits sounds like it's more and more worth its price I think I've got one of you at home. What's the difference between you and the one I've got at home? The J115. Oh, I'm much newer. My dynamic protein stereo lithography system means I can make nearly anything. I've got so much more flavor treatment. I can make just about any taste you desire. What if I wanted some of that protein slop that mine makes? Ugh, that's sorry. I can't do that. But how about some truffles? It's a snob, then. Interesting. Probably not relevant, but I'll make a note of it. Van der Waal Sheffy model is a food snob. Interesting. Interesting that that would be a feature. Like, that they actually pres presume that would affect sales. That their customers would rather their their food synthesizer be a snob. Never mind. Bye! Can't access what I assume is a very fancy bin. Now, we could charge the maid, but that's probably not a good idea right now. Let's see what other informa information we can gather first. I think I'm carrying as much of Vanderwall around as I want to. Control pod. Well, hey! See anything interesting? There's an empty gun rack in here. Ammunition, maintenance tools, cleaning spray, but no gun. In their closet? Maybe it's their outdoor gear. There's fishing equipment in here as well. Are you taking stuff again? It might be useful. Call it a hunch. Why would a fishing rod be useful? Still, that resolves the question of what was going on with the floor there. Short of turning the maid on and trying to extract the password that way, I'm not sure what we can do. Hey, Max. What's up? Body. The body is Dakari Vanderwall? That's right. Big, fat Vanderwell's husband. Apparently shot several times and landed face down in the water. Ironic. He used to be an Olympic swimmer. Lived and died in the water. You'd heard of him. I used to follow his career when I was in the 100-meter freestyle team at Grove Academy. Isn't Grove an all-boys school? It is. And at the time, I fit right in. Wait. You used to be male? Surprised? Well, I... I wouldn't have guessed. I'll take that as a compliment. Refrigerator. Why do you think someone would lock their refrigerator? Same reason you'd lock anything else. Something valuable inside it. But what? Some people keep wetware at low temperatures to stop GGs. And GGs are? Oh, 
Grey goo, catastrophic exponential reproduction. Under certain conditions, the fabricators and the wetware make more of themselves. And low temperatures prevent that. Not really, but higher temperatures definitely accelerate the growth. People like to think they're in control, though. Interesting. Very interesting. The terminal built into the piano must be older than I am. It's a virginal, not a piano. It's more like a harpsichord. Like I said, it's less impressive you know that when you can run a search in your head. I tried using Van Der Waal's hand on the biometric security, but it didn't work. Maybe because it's dead? How would an old terminal like that know? How do you check if someone's alive? With the scanner in my traveler. Ugh, if you had to do it by hand. I just think they take their food seriously and see it as valuable. The terminal built into the piano must be older than I am. It's a virginal, not a piano. It's more like a harpsichord. Like I said, it's less impressive you know that when you can run a search in your head. I tried using Van Der Waal's hand on the biometric security, but it didn't work. Maybe because it's dead? How would an old terminal like that know? How do you check if someone's alive? With the scanner in my traveler. Ugh, if you had to do it by hand. So heat the hand up, maybe? That might work. What do you think of the apartment? Expensive and tasteless. I'm not keen on the decor either. You mean the blood splatter? No, the actual decor. I tranced an interview. Said his husband decorated it all. Apparently, this is just their city place. They've got a much larger house out in the savannah. So he let Dakari run riot with the design here? Apparently. He should have stuck to swimming. Keep at it, Max. Can do, Regis. The fact that the terminal stayed as a dialogue option um, makes me think that the developers don't want you to accidentally um, forget that hint. I mean, the jolt gun might cause the hand to have neural activity, but it wouldn't heat it up. A big old jolt's not gonna make it work. But props to the devs to think of adding that. The thing is, I don't know what the terminal's picking up on that makes it think the hand is dead. The hand is dead, and sure, there are things it could look at, but I don't know specifically what things it is looking at. Temperature is a likely one. Can you hit, can the food machine heat something up? What's wrong with it? Yes. Hey, Max. What's up? Synthetic maid. Any idea what's wrong with the maid? I couldn't even get a return signal out of it. My guess would be that it's run out of power. Any way we can fix that? It's supposed to charge itself, but apparently it hasn't managed to do that. How? We can't haul that thing to a socket. Hmm. We'll have to charge the power cell itself. In a platform like that, the cell's usually in the upper torso, about where the heart would be. You reckon that'd be easier to charge? It's only about as big as your fist. Just have to get it out of her. Okay. Keep at it, Max. Can do, Regis. Hello? Hmm. I think I... The maid remains slumped and catatonic, drained of power. Right, but how do I open the maid up to extract the power cell? Hey, what do you make of this? Uh, Charlie, she's not going to answer you. Not when she's out of charge like that. Yeah, I knew that. Sure. No, but seriously, how do I open the synth up? <laughs> and 
there may be some something useful in the refrigerator as well. Right. Where's my to-do list? There it is. Um, so, extract battery from made synth charge battery for made synth hmm oh warm hand question mark I wonder if it could actually be looking at blood pressure Hold on, I'm going to save before I try something that I may regret. He can't use that anymore. Not what I meant, but still. It's definitely his hand, but the system won't recognize it. They've got a refined taste in wines, I imagine. Actually, no. They're all either a couple of years old or fabricated. Weird. Maybe they're doing something to the wine. Like what? Well, say they were also adding amphetamines to it, for example. If they accidentally ruined it, it'd be better if it was a cheaper wine. It'd take a long time to get through all of that. Interesting point. Another example of questionable art hangs from the ceiling. This one doesn't look like it has any useful components you can remove. This one doesn't look like it has any useful components you can remove. Wait, was there another bit of art that had useful components I could remove? You've never struck me as much of an art lover. I'm not so keen on this kind of thing. The mag coil keeping it floating, however. Well, hey! An adjustable magnetic coil, previously used to keep a piece of art floating in the air. Bit of a silly way to discover that, though, but, uh... But progress, nevertheless. Now, what do I want with a mag coil? Do I put it on the end of a fishing rod? There's no way to hold it on without a hook. It doesn't need magnetizing. Now it's got one enormous hook. There, a magnet at the end of a fishing line. For catching submarines? Yep, I have no idea why we want this. But we have it. At least it answers the question as to what a lot of those um, items were doing in our inventory. We can access the window. I'm wondering why would we need a magnet on a fishing line? Like the only advantage I can think to having it on a fishing line is you could dangle it down a long way. If you, if something metal had fallen out of the window and landed on the ledge, for example. Oh, we can access the cabinet. The cupboards containing the kitchen's various tools, you wonder for a moment whether the van der Waals are extravagant enough to have paid for real organic wood on the doors. Aside from the pipes running to the food machine, the cabinet contains a set of knives and a tube of cooking gel. I have a knife and I have cooking gel. The 
Exothermic wetware gel is used for food preparation. The gel cooks food that is mixed with that it's mixed with, releasing chemical energies heat at a desired temperature while it breaks down. That is pretty incredible. Well, that explains how we warm the hand. How high can it go? Oh my goodness, it can go up to 250 degrees. And down to zero. So it can't, it can chill food, but only so far. It does say it's only exothermic rather than endothermic though. So perhaps it could take something that is frozen and raise it to zero degrees. But if you put it on something that was warmer than zero degrees, it wouldn't work. Right, what is the human body temperature? I know it's around like the low 30s Celsius, but exactly what is it? Nope, it's higher than I thought. It's 36.5 to 37.5 Celsius. Okie dokie. So we want 36 degrees. You cover the hand in thermal gel and it becomes noticeably warmer. Biometric security details entered. I still don't have the password. Hmm. Well, we've warmed the hand, so we're a little bit closer. Maybe once we, um, maybe once we get access to the terminal, we'll be able to look up how to open the made up, possibly, made synth. So we have a magnet on a fishing line and we have a knife. That would make very good bait. Bait? You want me to bait the fishing rod? Bait with something metal? What are we doing with this thing? <laughs> or something magnetic exit at least. Wouldn't that mean it has to be metal? Is there anything magnetic that isn't metal? Not off the top of my head. Hmm. Oh, we could try and break into the fridge with the knife, but that seems like not such a great idea. That's not going to get it open. No, that's fair enough. I can't just use the magnet, can I? That's not going. To that would seem like a pretty big flaw in a fridge if its lock could be defeated by a magnet. If it's a like a an electronic lock, the jolt gun might actually do it. That's not going. Nope. Hey, Max. What's up? Any idea what's wrong with the maid? I couldn't even get a return signal out of it. My guess would be that it's run out of power. Okay, we've had this conversation. 
Keep at it. Can do. Wait, do I open it up with the knife? What are you up to? Just doing some surgery. Picked up power cell. Well, there we go. I know how I can get the maid running. The maid might know the password. Might know, not definitely knows. After a few moments of contact, the gauge on the side of the cell fills. That is incredibly fast charging. That is actually terrifying. When you think about... When you think about how much power, even at... If you lowball it with a, a lower estimate, how much like power a maid like that would be consuming continuously, and then you think how much power that would mean this power cell must contain, even for the maid to only operate for, you know, like half an hour on its own, and then you think how quickly that charged, like the rate of transfer of energy there is terrifying. <laughs> You know, you're probably looking at it um, transferring power at a rate comparable to that you would expect over a power line, I would expect. As in, like, part of the national energy grid, one of those power lines. Could be wrong, but... CI wetware systems beginning reboot. Beginning recovery from critical failure. Basic input output executing. MBR unified bootloader executing kernel. Kernel executing SBININIT. Calibrating CI state with USD. Oh, that is better. Uh huh. The maid is bright eyed and active. She looks completely unfazed by today's events. Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, hello. Who are you? Who are you? Je m'appelle Chantel. I am Monsieur Gale et Monsieur Dakarai's maid. You're a synthetic maid? Pardon, mademoiselle. I, I do not understand. A synth. Excusez-moi. What is a synth? It certainly stays in character. I uh, help the masters with their household things. And where were you made? Mademoiselle, I was born in France. Yeah, because all French people I know run on graphene power cells. Graphium, did you say? I didn't find the accent all that convincing. Oh wait, I should have added her to the list of people, shouldn't I? Not the list of just random facts I stumble across. Underwell, French, in quotation marks, maid. Uh, Miss, Mr. and Mr. Vanderwell. What can you tell me about the Vanderwalls? They are the best employers a young French girl could hope to have. Are they, uh, are they really? Quite so, monsieur. So loving. And with such exquisite taste. Wow. They must have got this one customized for sycophancy. Do you know anyone who might want to hurt them? Oh, no, monsieur. They are beloved by all. Interesting. Not very useful. Interesting. The crime scene. Uh, what do you do? We'll get to the crime scene in a moment. What do you do around here? I do the cleaning, the cooking, and the shopping. And that's it? Monsieur, it would not be popular for me to say. So you are a sex bot. Mon dieu, how dare you infer such a thing? Uh, what can you remember? Or have you had your safety removed? Have you had your safety protocols removed? Monsieur? Would you be able to do anything Mr. Vanderwald told you? Anything? Anything. Monsieur, you should not ask such questions. I am just the maid. More information about you. Maybe we can get more sense out of it if we knew who made it. Where did you come from? Lyons, monsieur. No, where did you really come from? As in, who put you together? Monsieur, I do not know what you're trying to imply. Super user platform driver detail int 102.16a actual update source. Search. S and S. Synthetics. City of Newton. The name's not appearing on the registration list. Maybe Vanderwall has the contact data? If they can give us an easier way than cracking its skull open. Uh, 
Why the personality? Why the hell did they get a synth like this? Surely you realize, monsieur. All the best maids in the world, they are French. And the best lovers, I hear. What are you implying, mademoiselle? I never had Giel down as quite such a... Francophile. I am also very discreet, monsieur. When you care for someone's home, there are a lot of things that you hear. Or do. Mademoiselle, such slander. And even if true, I, I would not say. I have Monsieur Gilles' confidence to think of. Uh, what can you remember? What can you remember before you ran out of power? Monsieur, I remember many things. My memory is holographic. But I have Monsieur Gilles' confidence to consider. Even if Cell requires it? I cannot simply discuss what happens around here without his permission. He certainly paid for loyalty. The crime scene. What the hell happened upstairs? How do you mean, monsieur? The room's recent redecoration. Shades of Giel everywhere. And the body of Dakari Vanderwall, shot to pieces in the tub. Any opinions on this? Oh, monsieur, I cannot discuss this. I have been told, most strictly, not to discuss what goes on upstairs. Even if it includes the double homicide of your owner? I have my orders. What would Monsieur Gale think if I went against him? Probably not a great deal anymore. She doesn't quite seem to get what's happened. Might not have been written with a comprehension of abstracts like death. Murders. Two men have been killed upstairs. There's blood and human remains all over the room and all over you. If you weren't directly involved, then you're at least a material witness. I am sorry, Monsieur. I cannot say what happens upstairs. Monsieur Gale, he values his privacy greatly. How about we take you down to cell and manually pull your memory apart? Regis, it's a synth. Threatening it won't help. Thanks. We'll keep looking around. My pleasure to evict, Monsieur. Right. Okay. That, um... Well, we've got some useful details there, not as much as we'd hoped. Right, what... So we've extracted the battery from the maid, and we've charged the battery, so we can cross those off the to-do list. Open the refrigerator, we've still not done that. Retrieve info on maid synth from the terminal, not done that. Gained access to the terminal, not done that. Uh, retrieve memory module from Vanderwell. Not done that. Oh, that's probably what's in the refrigerator. I don't know why they would put it, keep it cold, though. Unless it contains uh, the wetware gel. But that's... Since we know this module is supposed to be in the house somewhere, that's the only place that really makes sense. Hey, Max. What's up? That's an expensive synth they've got. It can do all sorts. Welcome back, Jenny. A demo. It's probably anatomically accurate, too. Excuse me? Well, they won't tell your secrets. You're not going to traumatize them, no matter what you do. So, Mr. and Mr. Vanderwell probably got it to join in once in a while. But why would... I forget, you didn't grow up with synthetics. Keep at it, Max. Can do, Regis. Howdy, partner. What can I get y'all? I'll speak to you later. I'll keep your tab open. Hmm. So we know what the knife was for. Still no clue about the fishing rod. Oh, that's why the photo's there. That's the, going to be the password, isn't it? It's going to be the date. August 2071. Uh, so that's going to be the 8th, 082071. Oops. Wait, why is that not working? Does this not? Oh, I have to type it in with the keyboard. Ah, I think this is the first time I've had to use the keyboard all game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 08... 2071. Wow, okay. 82071? Nope. Oh, if I click forgotten, 
Is it going to tell me something they wrote down to help remember? A special place. See, that's why I was thinking the photograph. A photograph of two men, a younger Giel and Dakari Vanderwaal. Dakar Ray, Dakar Ray Vanderwaal, by an urban river in the background. The Eiffel Tower is dwarfed by looming glass skyscrapers. At the back of the photograph is a note written by hand. The wedding, August uh, 2071. Oh, so of course this is in France, because as we found out, they were Francophiles. Paris? Excellent. That's progress. I like that puzzle, actually. Because I actually had to type it in on the keyboard, um, the number of possibilities were vast. I had to actually comprehend the information that was being put before me rather than just copy and paste something I'd seen written down. Because in fact, the word Paris was never written down. Of course, wouldn't have helped you if you didn't, um, if you if you weren't aware of where the uh, Eiffel Tower was. I'm wondering if I should write these down. Oh, it's a long list. Al's Body Shop? Hmm. Dakari's Traveller. That could be worth it. Hmm. Legitimate Johnson. Hmm. S and S synthetics. We win Kino. All right. S and S synthetics. Synthetic Associates, Liam Stepford speaking. Ah, oh, Mr. Vanderwall. I trust everything is satisfactory. Mr. Stepford, my name is Dr. Charles Regis. I'm a cell agent. Oh my, yes. How may I help, Dr. Regis? I'm investigating the death of one of your clients, Giel Vanderwall. Oh my, yes. That sounds terrible. What were they? Someone or other and Stepson Synthetics. Uh, it won't cooperate. We believe this synth to be a material witness, or involved, in a murder. Oh my, no! How horrific! It's unwilling to cooperate with us, though. Vanderwall seems to have ordered it to remain silent about certain areas of his home. Oh my, secrecy is one of many reasons that users opt for non-OEM personalities. If you wish, I could have one of my engineers disassemble its mind state in order to recover memories. This may take several hours, depending upon the algorithm used for laying down synaptic engrams. I'm afraid time is a critical factor, Mr. Stepford. Is there any way I can do it here? Oh, there may be. Oh my, yes. I shall transfer the necessary tool. Splitter app. Oh, it was very cooperative. What does the splitter do? What's this splitter for? CI platform mines are modular, Dr. Regis. Oh my, yes. All are made of three components, personality, role, and platform memory. The maid's desire not to tell you likely stems from her personality. So if she had a different personality... Something more helpful? She might tell us what we need to know. It may not be quite so simple, but that is the foundation of the idea, oh my yes. Where would I find other mind state modules? Any other platform that runs a communicative interface. It is not simply limited to synthetic platforms, oh my no. 
Interesting. Incidentally, I really like this uh, character we're speaking to. Their, um... Their turn of phrase. What does a personality do in a sense? The personality determines a great deal of its behavior. Oh my, yes. In many cases, it's the most noticeable part of its intelligence. It governs how it may act and how it behaves in its interaction with users. This one thinks it's a French maid. Perhaps copied from the mind state of a real example of such. Roll. What does the role memory do? It alters how a platform will perceive a situation and also acts as a source of knowledge for its job. How would it be different? Take, for example, a man in the street. A platform with the role of a sales clerk may see a customer. A law enforcement unit may see a potential suspect. Oh my, yes! And the role will furnish it with instructions on how to handle it. What is a platform memory component? These are the memories that each individual unit has recorded. At simplest, it is often a holographic matrix in which engrams are laid down. Sight, sound, and any other senses available are stored in here. Oh my, yes. Based on its role and personality, a unit may have a different understanding of these memories. So, it'd perceive it differently depending on how the rest of its mind was built? Oh my, yes. Unfortunately, I think they are overusing his little, um... His, um, eccentricities. I like them, but that... But they should, uh, pull it back a bit from 11, I think. Uh, that's probably enough. I may as well who he ask who he is. We've got your company's name linked to the synthetic in the apartment. Oh my, yes, a repurposed IL-240 platform running a BN-110-187 update cycle. A maid, yes? And a very expensive one it was too, yes? That looks like the one. Oh my, yes. He purchased a complete body. Though it looks like he had some afterwork done on it elsewhere, oh yes. What kind of afterwork? It looks like the personality was tooled elsewhere, yes. Likely to more particular tastes, yes. Not something you'd do? Mr. Regis, this is a family business, oh yes? We simply sell platforms. We cannot be held responsible for alterations thereafter. Tell me about the synth. What can you tell me about this synth? Everything up until its point of sale. Oh my, yes. We've recently acquired a number of IL-240 platforms, formerly industrial models. With some cosmetic retooling, they're fit for a great many humanoid roles. Oh my, yes. Like housework. Oh my, yes! Like this platform, we sell many without including a personality. There are a great many legal and ethical restrictions on the sale of AIs within Newton. But if one were to acquire an AI mind state from elsewhere and incorporate it... It leaves you completely blame-free for whatever's done with it. Quite so, Dr. Regis. Oh my, yes. Hmm. That's all I need to know for now. Please don't hesitate to get in contact if you think we can help. Oh my, yes. I wish I had heard, I wish I'd noted properly what the other part of the company name was. It was someone in Stepson Synthetics. Anywho, uh, CI Splitter. I'm going to need to get a personality from somewhere, aren't I? Well, it's either the food machine or the drinks machine. Can I get y'all? There's been a bit of an incident. You don't happen to have seen what went on. Hey, mister. I don't just go blabbing my customer secrets like that. He's bluffing. He never saw anything. You're just bitter you never left that wall. Hey, it's a fine job I have here. I ain't seen nothing since Mr. Vanderwall got his wine out of the rack this evening. I'll speak to you later. I'll keep your tab open. Right, and let's hear Sheffy again. I have to decide which one's going to be more helpful. Never mind. Bye! Sheffy thinks helping is fun. Right, it's Sheffy. Hello? 
Nothing happens. Apparently taking its mind out has made it less talkative. I may as well take both. You never know. I may need to use some sort of weird combination. Okie dokie. Right. Maid, chef, barman. Memory, maid, chef, barman. Roll, maid, chef, barman. Uh, personality, chef. Oh, I like this little um, graphic. Who are you? Who are you? Well, when they get messy, right? Right. I clean up the apartment, right? Right. And anything else that needs doing around here. I'm here to make everyone happy, whatever it takes. Jeez, it's like giving amphetamines to a synth. No wonder they only keep this personality in food machines. Mr. and Mr. Vanderwall. What can you tell me about the Vanderwalls? They're great fun. I like them a lot. Any other thoughts on them? I like you guys, too. You're fun as well. Is there anything you don't like? Nope. Uh... What do you do? What do you do around here? I'm the maid. I keep this place clean, and I do the shopping. Also, I'm anatomically correct. Excuse me? Well, Mr. Gill didn't just want a maid. He really loves French folk. So sometimes when he's bored, he insists I come to the bedroom. And he's got all these outfits and... Just no more. I get the picture. So he cheats on his husband with a synth. Oh no, he's not cheating. Mr. Dakari joins in too. I totally called it. Well, at least we know that these uh, instructions about not telling anyone about what happened in the upstairs have been removed. Have you had your safety protocols removed? What's a safety protocol? Uh, it stops you hurting people, or doing things you're not supposed to. Why would I want to do that? That'd be real mean of me. Yes, but sometimes there are... accidents. This platform's got nothing like that, but I'm not gonna hurt nobody. No safety protocol. Right, that's getting written down. Made synth. Safety. Protocols not present, I suppose I should say, rather than removed. Because I suppose, strictly speaking, I don't know they were ever there, but it seems likely. Uh, what can you remember? What can you remember before you ran out of power? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. I remember something. I, uh. What is it? I'm sorry. The memory module is holographic, but isn't wholly compatible. I need something to help me remember. You're asking for a bribe? <laughs> oh, Regis. I just need one of those nemi, menmi... Mnemonics? Yeah, that's it! So, something that'd help jog your memory about what happened. Yeah, that's it! Maybe we could use something from the scene. Thanks. We'll keep looking around. Have a really great day! Well, this is gonna get dark. Hey, that's Mr. Gill's hand! Okay, that didn't help. Uh, where did we get the knife from? Oh, that was from the kitchen, so that's not from the scene. The photograph. They had a great time back then. That's why they wanted a French maid. Okay, what else do I have that might be helpful? Do you want something from the scene? I can't just have her walk upstairs. I don't know what it would be. I guess I could try speaking again, possibly showing her the hand did prompt, but I need to go into conversation again, maybe? Hi! Uh, hello. I may as well ask, even though it's not very relevant. Why the hell did they get a synth like this? Everyone needs to eat, right? With you so far. So why make it a chore? 
food can be fun with so much choice available. So that's why they made you like that? Yep, I'm here to help anyone with whatever they need. Thanks, we'll keep looking around. Have a really great day! Hmm. Let's try the barman. You're a synthetic maid? I clean up around here. Them boys are messy. Need a woman's touch around here. Well, this is different. What can you tell me about the Vanderwalls? They're a strange pair. We can tell that from the decor. They're trying to get away from their connections to organized crime. You've overheard a bit about this. Oh, yeah. They've been trying to go legit for years. But with Gil, it was always just one more job. Trying to go legit for years. So they weren't legit. Good thing I tried the barman. So trying to go legit for years. Always. One more job. With... GL. Interesting. What do you do around here? I'm the maid. I clean up around this here dump. I lend a woman's touch to these boys' place. <laughs> you don't sound very feminine. Well, excuse me, but which one of us is wearing a dress? What can you remember before you ran out of power? Son, there's nothing I'd like more than to help a lawman. But sometimes a man's confidence is more important. What happens upstairs, well, that's between me and the Vanderwalls. Have you had your safety protocols removed? Nope. So, this platform was restricted in terms of what it can do? Nope. Huh? Never had them in the first place. Must have been a customized personality. Why the hell did they get a synth like this? Believe it or not, bartenders gotta be pretty smart. Like a chemist mixed with a therapist. Then shaken and stirred. Exactly. People gotta trust their barman to know what he's talking about. How are they gonna do that if they don't sound the part? Thanks. We'll keep looking around. Y'all come back real soon. Interesting. <laughs> three and one. Subject Chantel to all three personalities. <sighs> right, I'm thinking... Change the role to chef and see if they can get into the fridge. Oh, I changed the memory, which I didn't mean to do. Let's try this. Hi! Uh, hello. Uh, what can you do? What do you do around here? I'm the food machine! Not just any, I'm one of the best! I make sure you're not only nutritionally sound, but getting the best recipes T-H-E Foods can offer. Even though you're the maid? Huh, that's weird. Could have sworn I was the food machine. But I don't swear, because that's not nice. Thanks. We'll keep looking around. Have a really great day! That wasn't as useful as I thought it might be. Hmm. The barman's memories might be useful because he said that they went for some wine earlier in the day. I don't know. I want the chef's personality, the barman's memory, and the barman's role, I guess? you do around here? I'm the drinks machine. I give Mr. Gill suggestions on his wines and stuff. Even though you talk like a food machine and look like a maid. Huh, you know, that is kind of weird. 
Still, better stick to what you know. And boy, do I know drinks. Do you guys want something? Uh, no thanks. You sure? You look like a dry martini kind of guy. What do you remember? What can you remember before you ran out of power? Oh, sorry. I'd love to help, but I can't. You're not going to assist in investigation? Don't get me wrong. I want to tell you everything. Only thing is, I'm built into the wall. I barely see anything. Thanks. We'll keep looking around. Have a really great day! Okay. I was hoping we'd get an elaboration on the... What they thought they saw. Because earlier on, the barman did say the last time they saw uh, Giel van der Waal was when he took some wine out of the rack earlier this evening. Right, what time? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. Hey, y'all. Uh, hello. What can you remember before you ran out of power? Ain't much to remember. Giel chose another one of those terrible wines. Then he got some stuff out of the fridge and went upstairs. Ain't seen him since. Not much to remember when you're built into a wall. Except you're not anymore. Huh. Hey, you're right. Thanks. We'll keep looking around. Y'all come back real soon. He did say it's not just personality. Sorry, not just platforms you could rip. It was not just synths you could wrap. Let me try again. It's not just synths that you can split personality parts from. Can I take information from the fridge? That's not going to get... No. Okay. That's a shame. There was a vacuum cleaner out there. And we never found out what it's for. Look at the little guy go. What do you make of this, Max? My parents' old bot used to spend much more time in the charger than doing its job. I kept telling them to get a new one, but they never like to spend until they have to. Hmm. I'm still unclear on how I'm going to get into the fridge. Oh, what's on my to-do list? So, maybe retrieve memory module from the Van der Waal apartment. Don't know where it is yet. Gain access to terminal. I've done that, so I can cross that one off. Uh, retrieve info on made synth. Uh, done that. Open refrigerator. Not done that. So, open refrigerator is the only one left on my to-do... Well, that and the memory module. Those are the only two that are left. I, I gained a lot of information just by changing the personality. Why have I been given the ability to change the personality, memory, and role all independently? Does one of these know something? Hey, I haven't... Uh, hello. I haven't spoken to the food machine um, memory yet, have I? What can you tell me about the Vanderwalls? They're a strange pair. We can tell that from the decor. They're trying to get away from their connections to organized crime. You've overheard a bit about this. Oh, yeah. They've been trying to go legit for years. But with Gil, it was always just one more job. Even the food machine knew that, apparently. 
What can you remember before you ran out of power? Ain't much to remember. Gil chose another one of those terrible wines. Then he got some stuff out of the fridge and went upstairs. Ain't seen him since. Not much to remember when you're built into a wall. Except you're not. Oh, I must have picked the wrong memory. Hey, you're right. Thanks. Y'all come. Let me do that again. Did I change the role and not the memory or something? Memory, chef. That's a little weird. Why would the food... Uh, hello. Why would the food machine have a... a strong opinion on the wine? What can you remember before you ran out of power? Oh, sorry. I'd love to help, but I can't. You're not going to assist in investigation? Don't get me wrong. I want to tell you everything. Only thing is, I'm built into the wall. I barely see anything. I'll tell you another thing I need to add to the to-do list. Um, have... Um, Oh, what's the word? Get statement from maid. As in a statement of the events that evening, because obviously that's what I've been doing most recently. Hmm. Thanks. We'll keep looking around. Have a really great day! So I'm still a little unclear on why I can change the role and the personality, sorry, the role and the memory independently of the personality. Unless it was just something the developers threw in for fun. Because, for example, I've yet to find what the use is in changing the memory to anything other than the maid. Right, you wanted a mnemonic, didn't you? Asking for a bribe? <laughs> oh, Regis. I just need one of those nemi, menmi, mnemonics. Yeah, that's it. So, something that'd help jog your memory about what happened. Yeah, that's it. Maybe we could use something from the scene. Thanks. We'll keep looking around. Have a really great day! I noticed that when I used the CI splitter to put her. Her mind back to the state where it's the maid's personality, sorry, the the chef's personality, the maid's role and memory, that suddenly all the dialogue options appeared again. Like it was the first time I was speaking to her. So I think they must be dynamically generating the dialogue options and responses every time I use the CI splitter. And then that causes the game to forget which options I've already discussed, I would guess. Right, any... Hey Max. What's up? Any ideas? Doesn't that synth have a holographic memory? Why does it want a mnemonic? I suppose the new personality is having trouble interpreting the maid's way of forming memories. If we could find something related to the incident to jog its memory. It would be like pointing it to the right place on a tape. What's a tape? Ugh, never mind. Just feeling really old. Let me hear that again. Doesn't that synth have a holographic memory? Why does it want a mnemonic? I suppose the new personality is having trouble interpreting the maid's way of forming memories. If we could find something related to the incident to jog its memory. It would be like pointing it to the right place on a tape. What's a tape? Ugh, never mind. Just feeling really old. There's no new information there, Keep though. Right, Max. Can do, Regis. I mean, she's covered in gore, we showed her the severed hand, and neither of those jogged her memory. What's going to jog her memory? Maybe whatever's in the fridge, perhaps? It's like they had an industrial accident. In the bedroom?
Have I missed something in here? I don't think I can justify taking that. I was thinking take the painting down and show it to her. Oh, is there something on the body? There's something at the bottom of the pool. A pistol? Our murder weapon? One of them, maybe. It's too deep to reach. Not without severely contaminating the crime scene, anyway. Ah ha ha ha! That's why we needed the magnet on the fishing rod. Good thing the pistol's made out of... Got it. The murder weapon? One of them, anyway. Why is it in the jacuzzi, though? What we really need is a witness. Ooh, first time the inventory spanned more than um, a whole, one whole bar's worth. Good thing that the pistol was ferromagnetic. Vanderwall's antique semi-automatic pistol, probably not listed on the city's firearms register. Right, let's hope this is the mnemonic that. Uh, Oh, what was her name? Was it Chantel? Oh, where's my list of people? There. Yeah, Chantel. I wonder if this will be the mnemonic Chantel needed. Oh! Oh? I remember! There was something about that and Mr. Keel. Go on. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. There was something about his wine. But I'm afraid my thing is food, not drink. I don't know a thing about what they were doing to it. Maybe we should ask someone who knows their booze. So, oh, is that why I'm able to change the role as well? Because the role, they said, gives them the knowledge. So, the personality will affect their demeanor. and their, the way they express themselves, their memory is just the things that they actually remember from their own experiences, and the role essentially gives them the expertise to perform their function. So, perhaps the solution to this puzzle is chef personality, because they're not worried about being secretive, helping is fun, the maid's memory, because that has the details we need, and the barman roll, because then they'll understand what was done to the wine. Well, fingers crossed. Does this ring any bells? Oh, yeah! It's what Mr. Keel used when he... when I... We were all up in the bedroom earlier this evening. You're worrying too much. You promised me that you'd gotten out of it. I have. This was merely a favor for an old friend. And look where it's gotten you. They were arguing about something. It sounded big. Don't you think I know what this could mean? You asked me to talk to that damned cell agent, and I agreed. You see what I do for you? I know. And I knew you'd do the right thing eventually. It's not just because it's the right thing. Or because you asked. It's because of what it would mean to the whole city. Mr. Gill was grumpy, but not at Mr. Dakari so much. Then he asked for some of his special wine. Chantel, be a dear. Bring me my wine. This was the lousy stuff they've got in the wine rack. To law and order. Yeah, but he puts extra things in his wine as well. Ah! Uh, Gil, what's wrong? I... Uh, it must have been my... What? What is this? What's what? Mr. Gil seemed to be real worried about something. Who are you? Gil, what are you doing with that gun? Stay away! Don't come any closer! Ah! 
back. No! Get off me! Chantel! He sounded like he was in trouble. Get it out of me! He kept telling me there was something in him. I asked what he meant. It's inside me. Get in there and get it out! And the maid's personality. She'd have done anything he asked. Anything, though. So Vanderwall had a hallucinatory freakout. Sounds like it was whatever he was putting in the wine. We'd better find out what it was. Oh, I know! I know everything about drinks! Mr. Gill was buying up cheap wine and using wetware to artificially age it! Wetware? Yeah, he kept it in the refrigerator. Ow! Jeez, what is that? Can't you hear it? What sits in the fridge is a memory module with a strange configuration. Based on what you were told, you're certain this is what the blackmailer was after. There! The wetware on the middle shelf! It rapidly ages the wine to how it's wanted! Not anymore it doesn't. It's been reprogrammed. That memory module is broadcasting a signal. The wetware in the refrigerator is interpreting it as an order to reformat itself. So it stopped being a wine aid and ended up a powerful hallucinogen? Looks that way. You want me to carry it? You look uncomfortable. Yeah, something about it hurts. Hey! We're heading back to cell. A forensics team will be here in a while. Just don't try to make, cook, or clean anything while we're gone. Okay. I got it. So their deaths were almost unrelated to this case. In fact, they may be unrelated to this case because we have no reason to believe the memory module has to do with anything. Oh, you found him. Apparently, this is what Central wanted me to see. Why would it do this? I stopped him. Charlie. I promised him I could help, and then they. It did this to him. Maybe it's trying to hammer home the message. After all, Central didn't ask you to talk him out of it. It said neutralize. Why would it be so? Dr. Regis. You. Soulless. Callous. I promised him! His euthanasia was a necessary measure. 75% of the captured bombers have attempted self-immolation in custody. The risk of repeating such an action was unacceptable. It doesn't give you the right to take his life. Whatever the case may have been, cell command offices are now safe from... Central? A... Uh-oh. General alarm. General alarm. Central functions compromised. Localized E-war attacks detected within heuristic barrier systems. Systems entering siege mode. All personnel equipped for abstract dynamic countermeasures. Please report to action stations. Repeat. Abstract dynamics to action stations. Sounds like I'm needed. Remember, no matter what Central says, you've done a great job today. Well, that is absolutely horrific. Talked them out of it, took them in with good faith, and then they just killed them in cold blood. Oh dear. Right. We should probably stop there tonight. So, thank you for joining me, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be streaming again Monday from 4 o'clock GMT. Uh, other upcoming streams are going to be next uh, Friday and next Saturday. Uh, we'll be continuing with uh, Techno Babylon until it's done. After that, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I've got a few games for as Christmas presents. I do have Red Dead 2, Near Automata, and a puzzle game called Super Liminal. So at some point in the future, I'm probably going to make my way through those. Uh, so I suppose they're all candidates for what I might do after this. I have been enjoying Techno Babylon quite a lot, I must say. Interesting world. 
quite a few interesting ideas and game mechanics. Thoroughly enjoying it so far. Anywho, uh, if my streaming schedule should change for any reason, then I'll announce it on social media, which currently means X, formerly known as Twitter, uh, Blue Sky Mastodon, and Meta Threads, and I'll also announce it on our Discord server. So once again, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope you all have a wonderful night. Good night.